That's better. Did you think the drama was over? This show is back. After the unfortunate events of last season and some lawsuits, we had to change this show's name, you know, to avoid problems. And for those who don't know how this show works, I'll explain it to you. Fortune people have been chosen to live at this summer camp for weeks. Every moment will be recorded by one of the hundreds of cameras we have all over the camp and it will be broadcasted to you every episode. Mm -hmm. They will be divided on two teams of seven and will compete in challenges. Each round, the losing team will have to go to the elimination ceremony where everyone will vote for the person they want to eliminate. The person who has the most votes will be voted out of the camp and will take the bus of losers home. In the end, only one will remain and will be awarded with one million dollars. I'm Crystal and this is this Venture Camp. Hey. Oh, hi. Do we know each other? I feel like I've seen you somewhere. Maybe on television. I've been an intern in previous seasons. Oh, maybe that's it. I watched all the seasons just before I came here. That necklace is amazing. It vibrates like a Libra. You recognize it. <laughs> I am a bit obsessed with these things. What sign are you? Taurus. I knew it. I am Rosa Maria, nice to meet you. I'm Kai. I find it calming to share space with someone who emits such good energy. I can almost feel it in the air. Speaking of air, why is there no air conditioning in this low budget bus? I'm fed up. Someone's having a bad time with menopause. Haha, <laughs> I have to quit this. Excuse me? That shouldn't be taken as a joke. What joke? Okay, listen everyone. Nina here has an important message for all of you. Attention campers! The bus broke down so I decided to call the host. She says that you must follow the path along the road while running. And the last two to arrive will be eliminated. Forever. So you should run, morons! Nina? That's no way to talk to people you don't know. Sir, have you considered seeing a psychiatrist? Let's go! Yes, Dad, I know exactly what to do. You know how to keep reminding me. Well, that's for me to decide. I don't care. I was selected for this job because no one wanted you hosting the show. So don't tell me what to do because I definitely don't want to end up like you. Bye. Hey, uh, seems that no one wanted to run by our side. <laughs> I'm used to it. That's fair. I don't usually hang out with that many people anyway. I mean, not because I don't like it. I just prefer to invest my time in things I'm really passionate about. Okay, I really don't like it. Sorry, am I bothering you? No, you seem calm. Very extroverted people are the ones I don't like. I'm Hunter. Nice to meet you. Okay. And you? Oh, excuse me, I'm Tess. It was kind of awkward trying to talk to Tess, but I think I like her. Also, although it's not my thing, I have to try and socialize a little. You know, if I can get people to like me, they won't want to vote me out. Hey. Hi, 
Hello. I've observed your good intentions with others, even though your vibrations feel somewhat turbulent. Oh, really? Yes. It interrupted my meditation on the bus. It's not healthy for someone to emit vibrations with that magnitude. The universe said you should know. Okay. You remind me of a friend. She strayed from enlightenment when earthly concerns darkened her path. Kai is a bit weird and when I talk to him, I feel like he knows things about me. I don't like to feel exposed. <laughs> ah! Huh? <gasps> a giant? Ah! And that's how I reached a million followers on Instagram with my choreographies. Wow, how come I didn't know you? I'm popular in Korea, but not so much on this side of the world. That's why I like to come here, to go unnoticed. I hope during this week I can reach a million followers on TikTok. I think I should pay more attention to my social media. Maybe that's why I haven't gotten a big role in a movie. Hi, I'm Bria. I have been a Bollywood actress. I came to the United States three years ago to continue my career and get better roles. But it has been almost impossible. I hope that being the reality show gives me exposure and someone finally hires me for something that is not an extra role. You guys are super popular. I'm starting to get annoyed with my 200 followers on Instagram. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm going to upload a photo with you right now. I'm sure my followers will love you. I am one of the most popular TikTok influencers. You can find me at James CD. Follow me. I love you all. I will do everything you tell me out there. <laughs> Hello, friends. I heard you talking about your social networks. How about following me on MySpace? You, sir. No one has used MySpace for two decades. What is MySpace? Sir. Can you please leave us alone? Oh, uh, sorry. You should behave like someone your age. How do you know my age? It's obvious. Run, we're falling behind. It's obvious these guys are just tired. I know that soon I'll get along better with them. We see the first campers start to arrive. Oliver is the first. You will be part of Team A. Kai, Team B, Lake, Team A, Ali, Team B, Maggie, Team A, Hunter, Team B, Rosa Maria, Team A, Tess, Team B, Aiden and James, Team A, Yul and Rhea, Team B. We have the last two, Carol, Team A, and Connor, Team B. Why? The two of them are on teams, but we were told that the last two would be eliminated. Uh, Who told you that? The driver's puppet. Well, I don't know what exactly you mean, but it doesn't sound like a reliable source. Hey, your father is- Nobody cares who is my father. I am Crystal and I will be the host of the show. So let's get this started. We have our two teams. To my right, the orange team that will be known as the Radioactive Sharks. And to my left is the green team who will be known as the Angry Condors. Hmm, I don't know who came up with these names, but sounds stupid. I'll just call you Orange Team and Green Team. Makes sense. Orange Team, take the path to the right. Green Team, take the path to the left. That way you will arrive at your cabins. Are you seriously going to make us all sleep in the same cabin? What happened to privacy for a lady? It's 2022. Those barriers are in the past. Today is your first day, so you will be off. I'll see you tomorrow morning for your first challenge. I'm so excited to be here. This last year has been a bit hard for me due to some personal situations. And I think that will help me distract myself a bit. I would like to learn a little about you. You are very young and you really achieved so many of your goals. How did you do it? 
When I was 15, I participated in a dance contest. Back then, I didn't want to do it. My parents forced me. But of course, I did exceptionally well. Someone from the audience recorded it. The video went viral. And since then, I haven't stopped receiving phone calls to be in part of important choreographies. Wow. Hasn't fame weighed you down? Sometimes, a little. But I love the benefits it brings. I can't complain about having my own servants. Bro, it's not cool to call someone who has a name a servant. Well, that's what they are. If you have fame and money, what are you doing here? My manager thinks that participating in a reality show and being seen hanging out with average people can help improve my public image. A few weeks ago, I accidentally pushed this old lady down the escalator inside one of our shopping malls. It got caught on camera, and since then, I've lost just a bit of support. Accidentally? You know, an old Chinese proverb says, the fox never... I'm not interested. Did he reject the wisdom of the monks of the Tang Dynasty? That's crazy. Hey, what you doing? Playing video games. Do you want to? Sure. Uh, hmm. Oh no. What? You deleted the save files for the last few levels. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Let me fix it. <sighs> I'm sorry. Luckily, I brought another one. I've already had plenty of bad experiences taking only one on trips. As a fan of this, do you know the social media handles of participants from previous seasons? I follow a few. I think Tom and Jake are the most popular. Oh, and why is that? I don't know. They were a couple, and TikTok liked that. Hmm, I see. I hope this season we are the most popular. <laughs> anyway, I don't really care about that. I know. Who cares, right? No one. <laughs> this place is unbelievably horrible. These sheets look like they haven't been washed in months. That's because it hasn't been washed in months. Who is in charge of this camp? Some urgent changes are needed. Hey, Lake, do you want to go to the dining room before some dinner? I would rather go now before tonight. Okay, I'll go with you. I don't know why I thought I could come and make friends here. In the end, that's the same as real life. I generate fear for some and indifference for others. Hey, what's for dinner today? I made a delicious pumpkin bread. I hope you enjoy it because it could be... Your last. <laughs> You're so funny, Zir. What are you talking about? Well, tell me a little bit about yourself. Where are you from? I'm from Germany. I'm 16 years old. I'm the youngest of my siblings. I could say that I come from a somewhat talented family. My mother is a well-known wellness and my father is a respected nuclear chemist. Wow, with such amazing parents, you must be just as amazing. I, I'm not that amazing. Sometimes I write, but it's just a hobby. My parents say that my obligation is to study and get perfect scores to maintain my family's reputation. I came to this show because I wanted to have a different experience before they send me to boarding school next year. Damn, your parents don't seem to be fans of fun stuff. If you ever need my support, just ask me and I'll be there for you. <laughs> Thank you. Do you want half of this bread? If I ate it all, it would exceed my daily calorie count. No problem. That definitely wasn't the half of her breath, but I'm not going to make Lake uncomfortable. There's something strange about her. I will try to be her friend and find out what happens. Good morning! Welcome to your first challenge! Good morning! We couldn't sleep well. This place sucks. Who is your manager? I need to talk to him right now. 
I am the manager. I am in charge. <sighs> you are competing for a million dollars, so you have two options. Accept everything as it is, or leave this camp right now. Whatever. I have a complaint. The other team has an advantage. Advantage in what? They have an ogre. It's obvious that they are going to win all of the strength challenges. <laughs> By hurting one spirit, you will hurt the spirit of your fans. Really? I don't think there's anyone in Korea right now watching this. I will not allow any more useless interruptions. I will explain your challenge for today. We will have a relay race. This is how it will work. Each team has a flag of their color here on the beach. At my signal, three members must take the flag and get on a boat. Where the first stage will start. When they reach the marked area, they must pass the flag to two other members of the team that will continue by quadricycle. When they reach the next marked area, they will give the flag to another member who will continue by bicycle. Finally, they will pass it to the last member who will run to the finish line. The first team to get their flag to the finish line wins this challenge! You can decide who will do what part and go to your positions! In the boats, we have Rosa, Lake and Maggie against Hunter, Tess and Jewel. In the ATVs, we have Aiden with James and Connor with Kai. Carol and Ellie on the bikes. At the end, in the foot race, we have Oliver and Rhea. This challenge starts now! Let's go! I got it. I have the flag. I don't really know how to drive this, but I'll give it a go. Does anyone know how to drive this? I do! How come you know how to drive a boat? I saw my brother do it once and he explained it to me a little bit. Great! We are gonna win! Hey, I was going to tell you, don't listen to that guy who treated you badly. But maybe he is right. He isn't. He only messaged you because he's an idiot. But I won't let him say anything like that to you again. Thank you. You are very kind. Really. Don't worry. If he says something to you again, please tell me. We can be your friends. Really? Yes. Right, Nick? Of course. <gasps> yes. Oh no, I'm sorry. I screwed it up. That's okay, just be careful the next time. <laughs> I'm doing better at this than I thought. You're doing good. Guys, taking advantage of the fact that we are here apart from the rest, I wanted to propose something to you. Tell us. I've noticed that you guys have become a bit close. If I join you, and we all vote together, we would only need one more person, and we could vote out whoever we want. It would ensure that we advance in the game. An alliance? Sounds good. I'm in. If I see an opportunity to advance in the game, I will definitely take it. Eel isn't my favorite person here for an alliance, but at this point, I don't care. I do think we can be great friends. I really like the way you want to try to make sure no one feels bad. No problem, I just like to get along with everyone. Thank you so much for thinking about protecting me. It's not a bother. I used to protect my daughter all the time. Daughter? You look very young. I think I am. <laughs> I guess you weren't expecting that. I had my daughter three years ago when I was 16. Oh, and how did your parents take that? A little complicated at the beginning, you know? I didn't get much support. But when Sophia came into my life, everything got better. I hope we meet her when this is all over. We are reaching the marked area. Maggie! Throw the flag at Aiden. There he goes. I got it. 
Come on, I'll drive. Hold on tight because I'm going to go really fast. Woohoo! Here. Got it, dude. Come on. No, oh, be careful! Can you do me a favor? Do you want to take the phone that I have in my pocket and record a story? Really? We're in the middle of the challenge! Please. Okay. Here you go, Carol. Run! On the way. Take it, Allie. Thank you. I'm going there. See you in the finish line. Goodbye, loser. See you at the finish line. All yours. Great! I will make my team victorious. After years of well-deserved failures and low-paying jobs, I'll finally do something that'll be remembered. <laughs> huh? Boss? What is he doing here? I already cleaned all the dining rooms and all the bathrooms. N -n no, please. Don't fire me! I don't want to go back to my parents' house! Yeah! We won! Rhea reaches the finish line first. The green team wins the challenge and they are safe from the elimination tonight. What? But we were way ahead! And if you're wondering what happened, Oliver blew the lead the orange team had in an embarrassingly desperate act that will always be remembered. I wonder who they will eliminate. <laughs> Ugh, I shouldn't have said that. It sounded like my father. Whatever. Orange team, I'll see you tonight in the elimination where we will have the first vote out from this venture camp. Orange team, you have the afternoon to decide who to eliminate. Everyone has already voted in private and wrote the name of whoever you wanted to eliminate. Finally, you deposit it in this ballot box. The person with the most votes will go home! Let's find out right now. First vote, Oliver. Second vote, Oliver. Third boat, Carol. Fourth boat, Carol. That's two votes, Carol. Two votes, Oliver. Carol. Oliver. That's three votes, Carol. Three votes, Oliver. One vote left. first person voted out of this venture camp. Oliver, it's time for you to go. And why did I receive three votes? I guess because you need to improve your attitude. Screw you! Please don't! This is my only chance to achieve something, to be someone in life. I'm sorry, Oliver. It's the rules of the game. You must go. <sighs> day after day of yelling and abuse, no chance to take a break and only one trip to the bathroom, a low salary and multiple injuries trying those crazy challenges, night after night, and now that I can finally change things, I'm expelled. What'll I do? I have no money and nowhere to go. Okay, okay, calm down, Oliver. If you want, you can stay, but as an intern. It's a new administration, so I guarantee it will be different. Mm, thank you very much, Miss McLean. I will not disappoint you. Let go of me before I regret it. The others can return to their cabin. One less in competition and 13 left. Which team will win the next challenge and who will be voted out next? We'll find out next time here at this venture Camp!
Hi, can I sit here? If you want. How did you sleep? Not that bad. I've slept worse. Well, it took me a bit. In general, I find it hard to fall asleep. I get it. I would like to know you a little more. Tell me a little about yourself. There is nothing interesting to know about me. Okay, what do you think about this? I have a card game that has several questions when you're getting to know someone. We could meet up later and play. <sighs> Listen, Hunter. You seem like a nice guy, and I know you mean well. But believe me, at the end of this, we won't be friends. So don't waste your time on me. Find someone here who actually wants to socialize. But... Okay, I guess. I'm sorry I bothered you. You didn't. Did you see? Since I published our photo together, you have gained a thousand followers. Yeah, thanks for that, I guess. You are welcome. It's what friends do. <laughs> friends? Of course. After all, we are the only guys on our team. Well, you're right about that. It's nice to have a friend in the game. Yes. Attention, campers! Your second challenge is about to start. Head to the elimination zone. I'll see you there in a few minutes. Oh, and don't forget to finish your breakfasts. Hunger can cause us sleep deprivation. Are we ready? All set, boss! Hey, Oliver. I need your help with something. Sure, whatever you need. You see, I want to do my best to look like a professional host on camera. But I feel like I get a little... excited sometimes. And I ended up saying inappropriate things. I know. One of the reasons I let you stay here is that seeing a poor, empathetic intern so humiliated and worn out every day will help me remember what not to do to others. You know, I don't want to lose my humanity just to get some ratings. Yep. I want you to tell me every time I say or do something that makes me seem unprofessional. Sure, Miss Crystal. I will. Good morning. I hope you slept well because you will need it. Today's challenge is very simple. Everyone must stay here in the elimination zone for as many hours as possible without falling asleep. The last person awake will win for their team. Really? This challenge has been done before. It seems they don't have the budget to do something more elaborate. Who cares? This is more important. What are we going to do here with all this time? Whatever you want. It's not my problem. Psst. More friendly! I meant you can do an activity that makes you stay awake during the challenge. <laughs> my only role in this challenge will be here to make sure everyone stays awake. Girls, what sign are you? I'm an Aquarius. I think it's Cancer. I'm not really sure. Do you believe in that astrology thing? It is not that I believe blindly. It is just that I like the idea of cheering people up. I always read the horoscope and I try to embrace the most positive message. I've tried to do the same thing. Although it doesn't usually work with my luck. Well, maybe you aren't guaranteed right. Consciously, I brought a magazine from the previous month. Do you want me to read what the stars said about you? Um, sure. Hey, Aiden. Have you noticed those three haven't been apart since day one? Yes, I noticed. I'm a little worried. What? Why? If the girls are that close, it means that they will both together. And if Carol joins them, we are gone. A woman's alliance. Do you think Carol would be part of that? I don't know, she might be. How about you try to talk her about it? Okay, I'll try that later.
we have the first person asleep, Taz. There are six people left awake on each team. Hey, what's up? All good. Playing Smash Bros. I'll let you play if you wanted, but the last time I lent someone my console, it ended up breaking. Haha, <laughs> don't worry. Hey, I know you. Yeah? I follow your Twitch channel. Oh, really? It's a small channel. It's the first time someone recognizes me. Yeah, I've seen some of your videos. You do very well. You have good editing and your commentary is very funny. Why didn't you tell me before? I was a bit embarrassed to tell you, I think. <laughs> nah, it's okay. It's funny. Do you play too? Sure, but not fighting games. Rather, puzzles and strategies. But I'm not closed off to new experiences. Well, we can play together and try not to fall asleep. That's a great idea. How many consoles did you bring with you? Not enough. Greetings, partner of the mystical journey called life. Hello. I felt some pretty erratic vibes coming from you. You must know that your great size is not a burdensome mark of pain, but a gift with the potential to spread happiness in the world. Do you really think that? How come? I'm not sure, but you have to find out for yourself. I am only the messenger of the universe, but when you do, I hope to be there, feeling the light that your soul emits. Thank you very much. I'll try. Namaste. Kai, the team is gathered on this side. What were you doing with the orange team? I soothe the concerns of a troubled soul. I hope you're not thinking of betraying our team. Wow, dude. Betrayal is a pretty negative word. Of course it is, dude. They are our competition, not our friends. Even in the midst of adversity, enemies exist only for those who seek the road downfall. Don't try to sell me that cheap philosophy. You have to be loyal to the team, or we will eliminate you! Eliminate me? Dude, we can't be eliminated on this plane. We only transform by moving to another. Don't you dare talk to me like that! Attention, everyone! Kai is making alliances with the other team! Uh, it's fine with me. Don't look at me. I would very much like to be a screwed for this narrative. That's not true. Kai is lying. I mean, just look at his junky face. You know he can't be trusted. No, man. I don't do drugs. Too much. <sighs> okay, guys, calm down. Don't argue. Uh, Kai, to avoid further misunderstandings, you should avoid talking to the other team for now. As it should be. Got it, dude. And you, Yule, stop being so prejudiced and whiny. The next time you want to judge someone based on their looks, do yourself a favor and say nothing. Huh? Uh, uh, what? What the hell was that? I wanted to yell at him for talking to me like that, but I couldn't utter the words out of my mouth. Connor is dangerous. More than Kai. Yule is quite unusual. He doesn't give off vibes like other people. He's more like the shockwave of a bomb. He burns, ridicules, and destroys everything in his path. It's clear that you exaggerate and behaves like a spoiled child, but I don't want to get in trouble with anyone. Being here means a lot to me, and I don't want anything to ruin it. Good thing you managed to stop the argument. Sometimes that the role is needed to come the youngest. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah, it's just... Uh, forget it. It's okay, you can trust me. I really like listening to others. It's just that uh, I've never felt so out of place before somewhere. And why is that? You see, in the last few days, I've noticed things that I hadn't noticed before. I think I know how you feel. How so? I've spent my whole life in India trying to get my acting career off the ground. Now, I am on the other side of the world, alone in unknown territory. I feel like 
I'm on another planet. Wow, and how did you deal with it? Just trying to be myself, because pretending to be someone else will only make people never know the real you. Pretend to be someone else, huh? If you'll excuse me, I want to be alone for a while. See ya. Sure, it's fine. See ya. Eighteen hours have passed, and we have several asleep. Maggie, Rosa, and Lake from the orange team, Jewel and Kai from the green team. In a few hours, it will be dawn, and half of the participants are still awake. Hey, you did it. You're not as bad as you said. Well, once you learn the patterns of each character, determining a strategy is easier. It's so much fun playing with you. Although, the battery of the consoles is about to end. I also like other types of games. I have these cards that have questions to get to know a person better. You want to try? Sounds like fun. Let's do it. I had a great time with Hunter. Time went by so fast, I even forgot that we were in the challenge. I hope we can continue the entire show together. As friends, of course. <laughs> hey Carol, how are you? Try not to screw up this challenge. You've done very well. Same in the previous one. You're good at this game. If you say so. I don't know if I should ask, but what are you doing with that crocodile? His leg was hurt, and I was bandaging it. I get along well with animals. We understand each other better. Okay. I wanted to ask you, have you been getting along with everyone? Not very well. I think most people don't get too close because of my character. Even with the girls? No. They have their own group, and they are very close. That's what I said. It's dangerous that they might become an alliance. It is. If we lose, my vote will surely be for one of them. I think I would do the same. Well, it was good talking to you. See you later. Among all the unpleasant young people in this place, Aiden is one of those that I don't dislike so much. Sometimes he just seems like a good at two shoes. Hey, James. It seems that... Oh. One less for the orange team. Only Aiden and Carol remain on that team. Hunter, Ali, Rhea, and Connor remain on the green. <sighs> I can't take it anymore. Come on! Ollie, what are you guys doing? We're fine. I could do this all day. And that leaves two people on each team. Aiden and Carol from Orange, Hunter and Allie from Green. Carol, I don't know how long I'll be able to resist. Hang in there! We are close to the win! This is starting to get really hard. Hunter, do not fall asleep. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm starting to feel my eyes getting really heavy. Do you like to dance? Let's dance. Come on! Oh no, Hunter! Hunter falls asleep and the green team is left with only Ally! But... he's not the only one! In the orange team, Aiden also will asleep, so only Carol remains. How come you're not tired? You're supposed to keep an eye on us for the duration of the challenge! Oh, that? I take several naps to keep cool, but Oliver keeps up with the challenge. After all, he already has experience in during sleep. Right, Oliver? Uh, yes, Mr. McLean. Bread and water is fine. <laughs> well, there are two campers left, and this challenge has gone on much longer than expected. Go ahead, Oliver. Why are you giving this to us? I brought you a drink so you can hydrate a little. 
orange juice, 100% natural. You haven't eaten anything for many hours. Your breakfast will be here in a moment. It's about time! Good, I'm starving. Oh! Did I forget to mention that those juices also have strong sleeping pills? <laughs> With that, we reach the climax of this challenge. What? How dare you drug us without our consent? Oh no, I'm feeling it already. I went too far? No, Miss Crystal, it won't hurt them. Besides, we're all tired already. Ha, <laughs> I knew it. I'm good. Girls, should we vote together? Sure, that's a great idea. Who will we vote for? I am between Carl and James. Uh, what do you think? I would vote for James. He always leaves his underwear on the floor. Carol scares me a little. She's a bit aggressive. What do you think, Rosa? Mm. How did you sleep? Very well, actually. Good. Did you talk to Carol? Yeah, I think she will be on our side. She also wants to eliminate one of the girls. Great, that's all I needed to hear. Really? Wait, where are you going? Hey girls, can you get out of the cabin for a minute? What's up? There's something you need to know. What are you doing? Carol proposed to Aiden to vote for one of you. What's wrong with you? Are you serious, Aiden? Hey, everyone, calm down a bit. Is that true, Carol? I only told Aiden. It wasn't for him to come and tell everyone. I didn't tell everyone. So it's true. You see, she cannot be trusted. You can't be trusted. Wait, friend, calm down. Friend? Would a friend have used me that way? You could have at least told me what you were going to do. Look, I know it looks wrong now, but it was the right thing to do. The right thing to do? She told me in private. I didn't have to let her down like that. Also, how would it benefit us if Carol is eliminated? Right now, Blake, Rosa, and Maggie are together. It's only a matter of time before Carol joins them. We could try to do something together with Carol. No, we couldn't. You may not understand now, but you'll thank me later. I don't think so. Get away from me. Dramatic afternoon for the orange team, right? The awkward silence says it all. Well, you can all go to the voting booth to cast your vote. I vote for Aiden. You asked for it. James, I don't know if you're going to leave or not, but I can't trust you. Everyone voted and the decision is made. The person with the most votes will have to leave the elimination area and take the bus of losers. First to vote, Aiden. Second vote, James. Third vote, Carol. It's one vote for Aiden, one for James, one for Carol. Fourth vote, Carol. Fifth vote, the second person voted out from this venture team. Carol, three votes are enough. There is no need to read the last one. It's time for you to go. Whatever, I don't care. I hope you leave soon, Aiden. You are a traitor. I'm sorry.
the first week at camp is over and the atmosphere in the teams is time to get a little tense. Will Aiden forgive James? Are the girls from the orange team going to keep dominating? What will happen between Kai and Yule on the green team? Find out here next time on This Venture Camp! Hey, good morning. How did you sleep? Really? You're just going to talk to me like nothing happened? I voted for you, remember? Oh, it's fine. No hard feelings. Whatever. Stop being friendly. I won't change my mind about you. If I hadn't done what I did, one of us wouldn't be here right now. Maybe, maybe not. But that's no excuse for- For what, Aiden? This is a game. Do you think the others won't do the same eventually? They wouldn't. I mean, I don't think they- If you want to be mad, fine. But place blame on the game, not the player. Now, if you excuse me, I have to post a couple stories and take a picture of my breakfast. Ugh. Aiden! Oh god, excuse me, are you okay? Yeah, it was nothing. I should have watched where I was going. It's my fault. I shouldn't have put all my books on the ground. It's okay. By the way, why so many books? Oh, that? My tutor left me some essays that I have to mail to her. Wait, do you have to do homework here? Well, it was the condition my parents gave me so I could be here. Wow. I'm gonna find my girls. See you later, Aiden. Sure. See ya. Hey, Leg. I'm glad you came. Did you finish your essay? Yes, sorry for the wait. No problem. We understand that's important to you. Have you had breakfast yet? The puppet made pancakes. I don't know how she does it, but she's an excellent cook. Oh, I know. I already had breakfast. The pancakes were delicious. Today we ate oatmeal. Clearly Lake didn't eat breakfast, but I can ask her directly. I think it's better to wait for the right moment. And what were you talking about while I was gone? About the boys at the camp and how much Maggie likes Kai. <laughs> really? That's wonderful, Maggie. That That's not true. <laughs> I just said I thought he was the nicest. And you, Rosa? And is that you like? Honestly, none of them are my type. What about you? Do you have a boyfriend? Well, kind of. What? Tell me, tell me, what's his name? What does he look like? Does he have a car? Did you have your first kiss? <laughs> girls, girls, calm down. It's not what you think. What do you mean? My parents arranged a marriage for me after I graduated from college. I've never met the guy, but that says he comes from a very prestigious family. So, yay! Great! Yay! Okay, this is the straw that brought the camels back. Where is the social services when you need them? If this keeps up, I will have to adopt Lake. Hey, good morning! Hello, how are you? Actually, I, I feel better. Really? What changed? I was thinking about what you said, about being yourself, and I think that's why I don't fit in here. I've been behaving like a child and not an adult. Well, with me you have been quite gentleman and mature. I find it quite charming. Ha, huh, really? Absolutely. If you show the world the corner that I've seen, suddenly you will fit in everywhere. Well, thanks, Rhea. You're welcome. Attention campers, next challenge is about to start. I'll see you in the amphitheater in 30 minutes. Get ready, take a shower and brush your teeth because today's challenge will be spicy. Well, you heard her. I'll go take a bath. Rhea, wait. I'll be 50 years old next month and I think I'm accepting it. I turn in 29 today. Well, it's time to prepare for the challenge. Too bad. 
The game was so much fun. How about we get together to play video games after this is all over? We still have a pending round, remember? Yes, I would love to. But we should go take a shower first. Like, one after the other, you know? Crystal said we should do it. <laughs> uh, sure. You first. Yeah, thank you. Hey, Tess. Ready for the challenge? I think so. Hey there, did you hear the host? Yes, I'm going there. Alright, see you there. Understood. Welcome campers to your challenge today! Any reason why you recommended us to be clean before starting the challenge? Oh that? Just a professional courtesy on my part. Because, if you're rejected at any point in this challenge, no one will be able to say that it was due lack of hygiene. Rejected? That's right! Today's challenge will be the most romantic yet embarrassing in the history of this show. Depending on you, of course. Without further mystery, today's challenge is called... Kiss or Lose! As you can see, on the stage we have two wheels, each with photos of the members from both teams. Oliver and Marcus will spin them. And what about me? Are you blind? Marcus and Nina. That's better. The two people who get chosen by the wheel must have to enter the love zone and kiss, lip to lip for at least two seconds. Kiss? Awesome. That's right! We will spin it multiple times until someone rejects a kiss. When they do, their team will lose a challenge! Are you kidding me? What's up? Would you say this has been done before? No, no previous season was so desperate for ratings. Well, there you have it. I like to keep it original. I'm sure this will be the most humiliating challenge of all. Make out with people you've met a week ago? If my parents see this, I'll be in trouble. Kiss these people! I can barely shake their hands! Do you know how many kiss-related challenges I've done for TikTok? Mmm, this is a piece of cake. I really don't mind this challenge. I have always had a reputation for being very... affectionate. Sometimes too much. <laughs> well, it's time to start, so... Spin them, guys! Rhea and Yule are the first. What are you waiting for? Just imagine that you're acting for a scene. <sighs> it's okay. Ugh. Whatever, but make it quick. That was amazing! I already want to see the repetition in the editing room. <laughs> Let's go to the next round. Spin the wheels! Rosa Maria, Kai, your turn. The stars of the universe say great things about you. <laughs> Let them know that I say thanks. Wow. It's not that fun if they enjoy it. Return to your places. I hope Maggie doesn't really like Kai because otherwise things are going to be a little awkward at the cabin. Well, what are you waiting for? Spin the wheels again! What?! Seriously?! Of course, dumbass! Don't you see? That's enough, Nina. You are grounded. Well, do not make me wait. A 
among the other 10 people who are here, why him? Come on, Aiden, you can do it. Just do it fast. We don't want to lose again. <sighs> okay, let's just get this over quickly. Yes, that's the kind of reaction I expected. What's wrong with you? Three seconds was more than enough! If we are going to win, we're going to win in style, baby. Shut up! With that demonstration of boys' love, I'm sure many will be swooning and thanking the fan service. <laughs> Let's move on to the next round, guys. Oh, wow! It seems that today we're here to please all tastes. Ellie, Lake, get into the love zone! Oh, no. Don't worry, just imagine it's a dating sim. Haha, uh -huh, that's funny. I don't know if I can do it. My parents would kill me, besides, I have an engagement with... Like, I know you're scared of what your parents might say, but right now, your team needs you. Your friends need you. We can lose a challenge for the third time. Everyone has worked hard to win. It's time for me to do the same. Okay, I will. I'm dead. Ooh, that was definitely pretty spicy. Let's stop wasting time and move on to the next round. Get those wheels spinning. Hunter? Tess, it's your turn. Well, I guess we have to. Anyway, I don't care. You can do it. <laughs> All right, guys, I think that's more than enough. You could have stopped a long time ago, right? Yeah, sorry. I don't have experience kissing a lot of girls. I thought she would stop. It's just a challenge, Ellie. It's just a challenge. Honestly, that felt kind of good, I guess. Well, I hope you enjoy it. Because we're still far from finished! Over 25 rounds and no one has given up yet. Let's see how much longer we can go on like this. Oh. Ha! I think that it's clear the challenge ends here. I'm not going to kiss that circus freak. Okay, it's over. I'm going to kick his ass. I'm upset too, but violence is not the answer. Dude, no soul gets rich by hurting another. Oh, please. Don't be hypocrites. We all know that if anybody was up with that monster, it was game over. Don't listen to him, Maggie. That's enough, Yule. If you don't want to do it, that's fine, but you don't need to offend her. Since when is telling the truth offensive? Well, I will kiss her here and now, you know? And it's because of that ease of affection that you entered motherhood so soon, right? <gasps> What's up? Do you have something to say? 
Yes, yes I do, you miserable piece of shit. If you were a real man, you would realize how beautiful Maggie is. Her soul is so pure, and her heart so big, that it would imitate the sun on a rainy day. But of course, an idiot son of a bitch motherfucker could never notice. I'm sure you don't have any friends, and your parents only sent you here to keep you entertained and get away from you for a while. Sure, now that you're not there, they're finally happy. I don't blame them. After all, their only son is nothing but a piece of shit, asshole motherfucker. Okay, the orange team wins! <laughs> As a reward, they have 20 minutes of free snacks in the vending machines of the camp. Green team, I'll see you tonight at the elimination ceremony. When they feel ready to go. <laughs> I had already forgotten how it felt to emit such negative energy. It felt good. And that's dangerous. I've never been called beautiful by a boy. Kai looked pretty badass back there. Hey, are you okay? I'm not. I'd sworn to cleanse my soul of all negative energy, and I ended up exploding in front of everyone. Haha, <laughs> yeah, that was awesome. But, you know, if you ask me, what you did was pretty noble. Insult you all? Defend Maggie. So I haven't failed at all? Well, I don't know anything about those mystical things you practice, but defending a vulnerable person will always be a noble act. Thanks, dude. You calmed the storm that overwhelmed my soul. Eh, you're welcome, son. Whenever you want. <sighs> Rhea was right. Adult Connor fits in much better with the boys at camp. I shouldn't have wasted so much time pretending I was still young. Now I see that those days are long gone. So what now? I think my new mission is to share my experience with the new generation. Hey. Hi. You see, I have something to tell you. Well, tell me. This morning, you dropped this in the bathroom. Thanks. How long have you been taking them? About three years. And they help you? Well, I'm still here, right? My mother, she used to take them too, long before I was born. She said they helped her. But do you know when she felt really good? When? When she was with her best friend, Grace. She always visited her on those days when my mom felt really bad. She didn't ask her uncomfortable questions. She didn't judge her. She didn't pressure her to talk. She was just there with her until she felt better. Did it work? Well, I'm here, right? <laughs> Allie, I'm here. Great! I waited for this moment all day. Tess. <laughs> Great. Tess came to play with us too. Oh. Fine. You can sit. I don't dislike Tess, but I thought we were going to play alone like last time. The moment was kind of awkward. Okay, girls. I have to go to the bathroom. Keep playing while I'm gone. Sure. Okay. I felt like Ali didn't want me there, but I didn't want to let Hunter down. Hey, Connor. Hey, boy. You disappeared all afternoon. What were you doing? Oh, that? I've been playing video games with Tess and Ali all afternoon. Playing video games with Tess and Ali, huh? Of course. That's great, but you know, you should go for someone. Eh, what do you mean? One of the girls. Can't you see it? Mm, no. Trust me, I've been with a lot of women in my life and it's all in the way that she looks at you. It's, it's, it's that sparkle in the eye. They both like you. But we're just friends. You should start paying attention to those details. We'll, we'll talk later. Is what Connor said true? I just wanted us to be friends. Of course, they're both really pretty. I feel very comfortable with Allie, and I really like Tess. 
but I doubt they're interested in me. Oh, hey, what are you doing standing there? Where is Teth? Our alliance must make a decision. She's in the cabin playing with Allie. With Allie? Well, the more that joins the alliance, the better. And who are we going to vote out? Oh, you know who. Well, everyone has already voted and put a name in this urn. The person with the most votes must head to the highway of shame, get on the bus of losers, and leave this venture camp forever. First to vote... Yule. Kai. Yule. Kai. That's two votes, Yule. Two votes, Kai. Yule. How dare you! Kai. That's three boats, Yule. Three boats, Kai. One boat left. Third person voted out from the Svenger camp is... Kai, it's time for you to go. Everyone who voted for me will pay for it. All of you, you made this short trip one of the most enriching of my life. I am grateful for how they filled my soul with joy. Except you, you will. You f yourself. Great farewell, Kai. However, you want to be living alone. For this elimination, we have a surprise. They will vote again and eliminate another member of the team. What? Why? Because I say so. <laughs> I think I already know exactly who we're voting for. Save yourself the trouble. I'll leave. Voluntarily. <gasps> okay, Connor. You screwed up this dramatic moment. But, if that's what you want, that's fine. Wait! Why did you keep up the million? I have a perfume company for women. I never needed the money. I came because I wanted to feel young and all that. But you, you taught me that age is a virtue. This is... why? Said it was your birthday today, right? Well, happy birthday. What's up, Kai? We have to go. Nature is calling me. He says I shouldn't go yet. There is something it wants to show me. Ah, uh, okay then. Uh, take care and good luck with that. That's already four campers out of the game. The tension between the teams become more and more noticeable. How will Hunter handle this love triangle? Will James and Aiden's friendship have any obstacles? Will Rhea recover from the elimination of her only friend? All of these questions and more will be answered in the next episode of This Venture Camp! Good morning, Tess. Good morning. How did you sleep? Decently. What about you? Pretty good. Have you seen Hunter? He left a moment ago. He has been acting strange. Yes, I noticed. We had agreed to play after breakfast, but it seems that he forgot. Maybe he just wanted to go for a walk. Well, if you want to play with me, I can lend you one of my consoles. Maybe later, when Hunter gets back. Hey girls, good morning! I'm going on a walk in case anyone wants to join. I'm fine, thanks. Hey, 
If you see Hunter, can you tell him we were looking for him? Sure, I can do that. I don't understand what's going on with Hunter. Lately, I feel like he's been avoiding me. It would be best to talk to him about it. Hunter has been very sweet and thoughtful these past few days, but I sense there is something bothering him. I guess I have to find out what it is and help him. I have the worst luck. I've had a, such a hard time connecting with anyone in this place. And when I finally did, Connor decided to leave. I feel quite alone here. What is this? Congratulations, you have found an advantage in the game. This allows you to have one person from each team permanently sent to the opposing team. The decision is yours, but you must tell the presenter before she starts the next challenge. Oh yeah! Boss! Someone found the advantage! Great! Did you manage to capture the moment? Sure did! Did you want to see it? Not right now. In a few minutes, I'll get an important call for this week's challenge. Miss Crystal? I know you don't want to hear it, but I think this challenge might be going a little too far and... Silence, Oliver! When did I ask for your opinion? Well, you told me to let you know when... Shut up and keep checking the cameras! Hello? <laughs> oh, nothing is going on with me. No, I'm not busy. I was just talking to my silly assistant. He does his job horribly. But hey, we're not here to complain about our useless workers. Do you have the information? Excellent. Start telling me everything. Hi, Lake. How are you? All good. A little tired. Do you also study on Sundays? Uh, yes, I have to send an essay to my tutor in two days and I'm a little late. <sighs> Lake, I have to tell you something important. Sure, tell me. The first time we talked, I noticed something strange about you. I now realized that the way your parents pressure you is not right. My parents, they only want the best for me. Lake, you do homework even when you are in the middle of a reality show. You eat very little or you don't eat at all. And worst of all, they decided to commit you to a guy you don't even know. How that can be the best for you? I recognize that the methods are unorthodox. But the path to success is not easy, Rosa. It is full of obstacles and sacrifices. Just watch this show. Everything we had to put up with was a stupid reward. And you... Do you really want that reward? If you'll excuse me, I have a lot of work to finish. Hello. Can I sit here? As you wish. It's not my table after all. But... Would you mind if I did? Since when do you care what I think? You know what? Who needs a friend when you have a million followers? Welcome to the world's most embarrassing and humiliating trivia challenge. Are you comfortable? Not at all. These seats are wet. Miss Crystal, before we start the challenge, there is something I must tell you. Oh, really? Well, I hear you. I found this perk that allows two people to switch teams, and I want to use it now. Well, I can confirm that advantage is real. So, Rhea, who are you going to change? I want you to go to the orange team. What? And why me? Because I'm sick of you. I'm sorry, but it's the truth. And now that I don't have to worry about you boring me, I can say it. Screw you! With that attitude, it's no wonder why you have never and will never succeed. Well, that's how it will be. Now, who will go from the orange team to the green team? I'm going to choose... Rosa Maria. Okay, from now on, you will be part of the orange team and Rosa Maria will be part of the green team. I'm kind of sad to be leaving the team, but I know Maggie and Lake will do just fine without me. That low budget actress underestimates the damage I could do to her, even on another team. 
So Rose and you'll switch places, huh? Not only is the woman's alliance weakened, I also have a possible new ally. Things couldn't be better for me. I noticed that Kai wasn't on the other team anymore. I hope to see him again soon. Attention campers, today's challenge is going to be quite fun. I am going to tell a shameful, humiliating, and very personal truth that belongs to one of you. Sorry, but that's not funny at all. For me, it definitely is. If the person I'm talking about pushes the button and accepts the humiliation in front of the whole team, they'll score a point. If the person does not accept it, the opposing team can try to guess who I am talking about. If they do it correctly, they will take the point. But keep in mind the following. Every time a person does not want to accept the truth, this will happen. <laughs> I have to admit it, Dad's old toys are so much fun. Uh, I think you should get him out of the water now. I'll do it when I see fit. And that is... Now! <coughs> Having said that, the first team to score 5 points will win the challenge. Any questions? I have one. How do you know these things about us? Just know that I have access to any information that has passed through your cell phones and laptops. Wait, that's not fair. We never allowed this. It's true. <sighs> they should learn to read a contract well before signing it. If there are no questions, then let's start the challenge! Alright, Orange Team, let's start with something soft. Who auditioned for the previous season and was rejected for being considered uninteresting? Okay, I have no problem admitting that. Green Team, who has been an extra in more than 50 movies but has never been credited? Why couldn't you get something more obvious? Each team has a point! Is that the strongest thing you have? Oh, watch what you say, punk! Orange team, who had their first kiss in the previous challenge? That's another point for the orange team! Ha! Virgins! Are you serious, Satan? It doesn't matter. It's nothing important. And we're just warming up. Challenge me again, and I'll expose your worst secret. Alright, let's level up! Green team! Who made the previous psychologist have to go to the psychologist? You don't have to if you don't want to. Uh, whatever. Another point for the green team. Orange team. Who forced her ex to have plastic surgery and then ended the relationship because she did it wrong? Green team. Which one of you has shoplifted? A mother will do anything for her children. A Latina stealing. Why am I not surprised? Each team has three points. Orange team, which one of you wears a wig? <laughs> I'm so sorry, Lake. Another point for the orange team. Can we stop this already? But what do you say? We're just starting. Green team. Who uploaded sexy photos to the internet just to gain some fame? Yeah, I didn't do it. Just so you know, I didn't do it for fame. You don't need to explain. At least not to me. <laughs> I think this is getting out of hand. That's right. If we lose on purpose, the challenge will be over. 
I agree. No! This is what will happen if you try to sabotage this challenge. I hope you can hold your breath for five minutes. Miss Crystal? The producers say that you should find another way to penalize the campers that doesn't put their lives at risk. <sighs> well, whatever. Party pooper. <coughs> Since the producers won't let me submerge you, I'm going to reveal secrets myself if they refuse to play. And so you can see that I'm serious, Aiden still sleeps with a teddy bear he's had since he was a baby, James's first 5,000 followers were bots, Jewel and his family escaped from North Korea, Maggie has sent five boys to the hospital, when Lake is home alone, she punches pillows with pictures of her parents. I think that's enough. Shh, don't interrupt me. Now I'm exposing you. Rosa doesn't know who the father of her daughter is and thought about aborting her. Tess is an orphan. Rio was desperate for a major role and almost starred in adult movies. Ali and Tess are in love with Hunter and he knows it. Stop already! We'll keep playing the damn challenge! Okay. If I hear complaints, I'll keep breeding the worst ones. Let's continue with the challenge. Orange team, which one of you had sex reassignment surgery? <gasps> Nobody? Their time is running out. It seems that there is no point for the orange team. Okay, green team, you can try to guess who I'm talking about. Rosa? You weren't that team! I... I have no idea. There is no point for anyone. If the green team gets one more point, they will win this challenge. The question for the green team is... Which one of you threatened and made a group of children cry? Okay, let's just get this over with. I was just stressed. Do you make kids cry whenever you're stressed? I was playing online and they were using hacks. Well, after that unnecessary clarification, the green team wins. Orange team, you have the afternoon to dry off and decide who you are going to vote for. I'll see you tonight, where you have to vote out another member. Welcome to the team, you! Make yourself comfortable. Any of the bets on the left are free. Now what? Are you gonna vote me out for having belonged to the green team? Lake and Maggie might do it, but I don't. I have something better in mind. Explain. Hello, buddy. What do you want, Yule? I've noticed that you have a certain dislike towards James. So I propose this. Let's vote for him together at this next ceremony, and you'll return the favor by voting for whoever I want you to. How do I know I can trust you? It's not about trust. It's about mutual interest. Sure. You're doing the right thing. Yule thinks he can manipulate me? Him voting for James won't make any difference. It is obvious that the majority will vote for Yule. I'm sure he hopes my resentment will make me convince one of the girls to vote for James. He must be desperate. But Yule deserves to be kicked out. Still, I pretended to side with him and will vote for James. Just because it will be nice to see James's face when he sees that he has two votes against him. Everyone has gone into the voting booth and put a name in this urn. The person with the most votes must leave the camp, get on the loser's bus, and may never return. First to vote... Yule. James.
Maggie. It's a boat for Jewel, a boat for James, and a boat for Maggie. Jewel. The last boat goes to... Maggie! Hmm, I guess we have a tie. That's impossible! Yule and I voted for James, so... Wait, you two lied to my face? Why are you surprised? You're the one who believed it. You guys are the worst. Now what? Good question. I hadn't thought about what to do in this kind of situation. How about the random, unbiased game of rock, paper, scissors? Random? I agree. Well, whatever. Hurry up and let's get this over with. Maggie, listen, there's a trick to this and... I said hurry up! Well, it will only be one round. So think very carefully about what you are going to choose. Well, that was anticlimactic. I should definitely think about better challenges for tiebreakers. Go back to the circus, freak. Shut up. Don't you dare talk to her like that. Wow. Calm down. A little more stress and you might lose your eyebrow hair. <laughs> ah! Get that psycho out of here! You can insult me if you want, but I won't let you insult my friend. Maggie, I'm sorry, I... It's okay, Lake. Thanks for being my friend. And we will continue to be. Well, Maggie, you must go. Guy? I thought you left camp. You can leave the camp, or you can come to the forest with me and find yourself. What will Aiden do now that Yule and James have teamed up? How will Taz and Hunter's friendship be affected now that some true feelings have been revealed? How will Rosa and Lake fare now that they're in different teams? Will Yule wake up with a black eye? All of these questions will be answered in the next episode of... This Venture Camp! You do homework even when you are in the middle of a reality show. You eat very little or you don't eat at all. How that can be the best for you? Good morning, Lake. Can I sit with you? Good morning, Eden. Of course. Is everything okay? I have seen you somewhat down. Eden, can I ask you a question? Sure, ask away. Do you think I lead a normal life? Oh, well, what's considered normal nowadays, right? <laughs> Please be honest. <sighs> we all have to do things we don't want to do for our own good. But, Lake, you do those things and you hurt yourself. Rosa told me something similar. But I just got mad at her instead of listening to her. A friend who loves you will always tell you the truth. No matter how much it hurts. What do you think I should do? Talk to her. I assure you, she's waiting for you to do it. Thanks, Aiden. Anytime. This is not good. What are you talking about? We managed to kick out the circus freak, but I doubt that that strategy will ever work again, especially now that those two seem to be stuck together. Right. The host will likely have a more complex challenge in the event of a tie. Exactly! Because of that, I've been thinking that maybe we should speed things up. You know, some medical emergency. It should be enough to get Aiden kicked off the show. 
squat. Why, Aiden? Do you really think the bald-headed girl would be a problem for us? Once Aiden is evacuated for intoxication, we'll be in control. Wait, are you saying you're going to poison Aiden to get him out of the game? No, I'm saying we're going to poison Aiden to get him out of the game. You're with me, right, buddy? Oh, yeah, of course, my friend. Lion, sure, manipulate whenever you want, but poison someone, that is way too much. Stop there, Lone Ranger. Allie, Tess, what are you doing here? You've been acting very strange, and it's time to clear things up. Clear up what? I don't understand what you're talking about. Hunter, please don't pretend you didn't hear what Crystal said. We'd like to talk about it a bit. Well, I... Attention, campers! An immunity totem has been hidden somewhere in the camp. You have the opportunity to search for it before the challenge starts and have a head start in case you screw up. <laughs> Good luck! You heard. We'd better split up and cover more ground. See you. But, Hunter! Leave him. He's not ready to talk. Thanks for coming with me, Rosa. Oh, it's nothing. I really like you. Thank you. It means a lot. Ever since Conan left, I felt a little lonely in this camp. Wow, really? And um, what about the other team members? Hunter, Tess and Ali have an, an alliance. Despite their... confusing relationship. Well, whatever happens, I will be on your side. I couldn't say goodbye to Maggie, and I messed things up with Lake, but I won't make that mistake with Rhea. I will help her, support her, and respect her every decision. Like I should have with Lake. I'm very lucky to have met Rosa. She's smart, trustworthy, and makes me feel good about myself. I have to make sure I reciprocate her friendship properly. Hey Tess, since Hunter didn't want to talk, we should talk to each other. And what do you want to talk about? You know, about what Crystal said, that we're in love with Hunter. Well, I never said I was in love with him. What? But I thought... He has really been very good to me, but I wouldn't say I'm in love. How about you? I smile every time I think of him. When he's by my side, my heart races and I feel like that any problem becomes small. Wow, that does sound like someone in love. That's right, but you know what? If you felt that way too, I really wouldn't mind. Really? Explain that to me. How hard can it be to find a stupid piece of wood? In a forest, bury. That's the point. Oh? But what do we have here? Did you find the immunity totem? No. Something almost as good. Is that... I'm not an expert like Kai, but I'm sure most wild mushrooms are poisonous. When the time comes, I'll distract Aiden, and you'll put this in his food. Oh, sure. Good plan. Welcome, campers! You had a couple of hours to find the totem, and just minutes before the challenge started, it was finally found. Now, it's time to start this week's challenge, which will be the classic game of the Queen Says. In this challenge, the Queen, that is me, will give orders to all of you. If, at any point, someone decides to disobey, that person will lose the challenge along with their team. Any questions? Miss Crystal, wasn't today's challenge supposed to be a talent show? The questions are for the campers, Oliver. Not for the losers who were voted out in the first episode. Don't you think these challenges are based solely on your personal delight? What else would I do? The public loves this kind of situations. 
If there are no questions, then let's start at once. Um, James, change your profile name on TikTok from at James City Official to at Manipulator City Official. Easy, my fans support me unconditionally. Rhea, give me the perfume that Connor gave you. But it's a very precious possession for me. You have 10 seconds to carry out the order. Hey, don't worry, we will get it back later. Blake, go to your cabin and get your books. Allie, you go get your consoles. Okay, now destroy them. What? These are our personal belongings. You cannot force us to destroy them. It is true. Like, you don't have to. Ready. Okay. Ellie, you have 10 seconds to destroy your consoles. Fine, fine, I'll do it. <laughs> It's time to level up! Aiden, go into the kitchen for Nina. Hunter, carry Tessa's princess until Aiden returns. Okay, I don't see what the appeal in this is. Oh, believe me. The fans know. Let go of me, stupid dumbass! How dare you put your hands on a lady! Uh, uh, she's talking! Why is she talking? Excellent, Aiden. I ordered you to hold Nina. Until Marcus comes for her. Ha! The girl who misses daddy behaves just like him. What a surprise! Tess, I ordered you to throw your pills into the fire. Are you crazy? She needs her medicine. Well, it will be her problem. Nina, why'd you leave like that? I was worried. This guy kidnapped me. I tried to free myself, but he's very strong and violent. Touch her again, and I'll cut off your hands. Understood, sir. <laughs> this is more fun than I thought. But it is time to finish. Wake. I order you to remove your wig. What? Don't do it, Lake. Don't give her the satisfaction. Sure. That would be convenient for your team, right? Do it already, Baldy. We won't lose because of you. Rosa is right, Lake. Winning doesn't matter anymore. Don't do it. Lake, you have 10 seconds to obey the order. Why are you so mean? Do you really enjoy making fun of us? Making us suffer? Five seconds? Well, I feel sorry for you. Only someone miserable needs to hurt others to feel better. One second? As a puppet was wrong, you are not like your father. You are worse. You are a monster. Shut up already! The challenge is over. The green team wins. Orange team, I'll see you at the elimination ceremony. Wow, I always thought that about Crystal, but I never had the courage to say it out loud. Hi, can I join you? I would love to. How do you feel with everything that happens today? You know, I feel good. In fact, I have never felt so relaxed in my life. Blake, that's fantastic. How do you do it? For my friends. 
I owe everything to my friends. Hi, can we talk? I don't know, can we? I have to give you something first. Here, Ellie, it's the console you lent me the other day. I forgot to give it back, but I guess that was for the best. Oh, thanks, Hunter. You're the best. Take these tests. I know there aren't many, but it should help. Where did you get them? I took them from your jar and put them away in case of an emergency. Thank you. Listen, I know I've been a little distant and made you guys worry about me. I apologize for that. So, are you ready to bring it up? Well, yes. I'm ready. Hello, friend. Can we sit here? Enough! I will not fall for your tricks again. Lake and I will vote for you, no matter what happens in that tiebreaker. Come on, bud. Don't say such toxic things. <laughs> Stay away from me. I'm going out to eat. Did you? Of course I did. Well, one last. I can't wait to see his reaction. Well, everyone went to the voting booth and put their votes in this box. The camper with the most votes will have to leave the camp, get on the loser's bus and will not be able to return... <laughs> uh, what? What happened to you? Oh, it must be the mushroom he ate in the woods. Did you eat a mushroom from the forest? That is very dangerous. Many of those are poisonous. James! What did you do? You were supposed to give the mushroom to Aiden, not me, you idiot! I have no idea what he's talking about. He must be hallucinating. Now that he mentions it, the cameras caught you holding a mushroom when they were looking for the totem. Huh? Call an ambulance, Oliver! Joel is out of the game anyway. He had three boats. A three? So, Yule was planning to poison me, but you decided to poison him. Make no mistake. I only did to get rid of you. I understand. Thanks, I guess. Poisoning someone is too much, unless that someone is you. Will James and Aiden be friends again? What will happen now that Lake is free from the pressure of her parents? What will be the decision that Hunter will make about Ali and Tess? Is this host better than any other in the history of the show? Absolutely, yes! As for the rest... Find out the answers in the next episode of This Venture Camp! Attention, campers! It's time to get up! In 30 minutes, the bus will be waiting for you at the entrance of the camp to take you to your next challenge. Don't be late! Damn, it's still too early for this. I know, but we don't have a choice. We better get ready. Come on, Tess. Wake up. Yes, yes, I'm coming. Yesterday I talked to the girls about this love triangle thing or whatever. I told them not to bring it up until the game was over. Although that didn't stop them from getting into my bed in the middle of the night. I don't blame them. It was really cold. Hurry up, idiot! We have a long way to go! Nina, it's too early to speak in that tone. Lake! 
I was afraid that you would be boarded out. I am very happy to see you. I'm happy too. Fortunately, you all had to leave the game due to a medical emergency. Medical emergency? What happened? Apparently, he got poisoned eating a mushroom he found in the woods. Wow, well, I hope he doesn't get well soon. <laughs> the moment Yul went to the other team, I knew it would only be a matter of time before he was out. But I never imagined that it would be for something so absurd. I never liked Yul. His personality and way of expressing himself were horrible. But all the hate he caused kept me and the girls safe. It was a good strategy. Now, things will be more difficult. Good morning, campers! It is my duty to congratulate you all for having reached the merge. That's right! From now on, the teams are dissolved. Great! I hope I can get to know you guys better now! Well, you are lucky, Rhea, because today's challenge will make them more united. As you may have noticed, we are in the middle of nowhere. Your mission will be to return to the camp. You will go in pairs and will have to work as a team to win this challenge. Don't worry, I'll drop backpacks in the area containing supplies and things that can be useful in the challenge. Great, thanks man. Excuse me? With whose permission did you do that? Well, I... I just wanted to help. It's a challenge. It's supposed to be hard, Oliver. Ugh. Anyway, Rhea, you're going with Rosa Maria. Aiden and James are going together. Ali and Tess will be another team. And Hunter will go with Lake. Does anyone have any questions before I go? I have one. Is there a problem with the sign on here? I can upload the photos I just took. You are in the middle of the forest. There is no internet here. What? What year are we in? That is unacceptable. Let's go, Oliver. Good luck, guys. I think it would be good to go in the direction the helicopter went. What do you think? I don't know. Crystal could have gone in a different direction and went around the woods to confuse us. Good point. Then we better find some high ground and see where the sun goes down. You seem to know a lot about survival. No big deal. I just read it in a book. <laughs> I also like to read a lot. It seems that we have something in common. Let's walk fast before everything gets dark. This is my first time talking to Hunter. He seems like a smart boy. Nope. Not another one. Please, no. Can you believe it? What kind of low-budget show leaves its participants without internet access? We're in the middle of the woods, James. What did you expect? But we are surrounded by cameras and microphones. Look, the faster we get back to camp, the faster you can get back online. So let's focus on the challenge, okay? Okay, okay, I understand. But what do we do now? Well, it's getting dark. We better find a place where we can pitch a tent. I had some differences with James, but what he did for me in the previous ceremony makes me believe that, deep down, he's not that bad. Okay, in this backpack there is only a sleeping bag, a bag of marshmallows, and a flashlight. Guess we will have to improvise a bit? Rhea, what's wrong? Now that the teams are dissolved, I guess you go back to your alliance with Lake, and I'll be alone again. Come on, don't say that. I promise you I will be on your side, remember? If I make an alliance with Lake, you will be also part of it. Are you serious? We can dominate the game together and you can beat the shit out of us in the semi-final. <laughs> Whoa, thank you, Rosa. You're the best friend I ever had. Do you see anything? 
No, nothing. It's too dark. Maybe I should go higher. Don't do it. You could fall and hurt yourself. Do you care about me? Well, sure. You are my friend. You and me, friends. I thought you were just pretending to be nice to me, so you wouldn't upset Hunter. What? Of course not. I really like you. You don't need to worry about me, Ellie. Let's just complete this challenge. <sighs> okay, I'm coming after you. I'll admit, at first I pretended to be Tess' friend a bit so Hunter wouldn't feel bad, but now I really like her and I feel like we could be good friends. This is the last time you take part in the challenge. Do you understand, Oliver? But Miss Crystal, if I hadn't, things would be very dangerous for them. That's the point, Oliver. People want to see people suffer and fight for their lives. To see them get hurt and go through the worst of embarrassments. This is what the show is about. It wasn't always like this, and it doesn't have to be. That's why this show went so many years without being broadcast. And if you're not careful, the same thing will happen again. What? What are you implying, Oliver? I'm saying Lake was right. You are worse than Mr. McLean. Go away. You are fired. Sounds good to me. I'd rather sleep on the street than keep working on this damn show. What? Oh, Mr. Mahler. I'm sorry. Tell me, how can I help you? It's good that you also like chess. It helps me distract myself when I feel unmotivated. Oh, yeah. I wish we had one here, but we can play another day. Yeah, well... Oh. What's going on? Like, get in the helicopter. You're out of the game. What? Why? Your father called. He wants you to come home immediately. But that's not fair. Could you convince him otherwise? I could, but your father offered me a generous payment for him to skip certain deals. Also, if I remember correctly, you said some nasty things about me in the last challenge. So, stop complaining and come with me. Wait, what about me? You will have to complete the challenge alone. Good luck. I don't agree with Lake's situation, but I admit, I feel a little relieved now that I'm on my own. If a love triangle is difficult, a square would be worse. This is the worst. Do you have any idea how much content you could be uploading to TikTok right now? Instead of complaining, why don't you try to sleep? We have to get up early tomorrow and try to- Whoa! What's up, buddy? Nothing. N nothing happened. Don't tell me. Thunder scares you. Scared? <laughs> of course not. It's just that they're so noisy and they don't let me sleep. What are you doing? I can't replace your teddy bear, but I can try it. Don't talk nonsense. Good night, Aiden. Good night. Stupid show. I should have listened to Mom and worked out Aunt Isabel's nail salon. Huh? What's that? It's the boys. Great! Now that I'm no longer an intern, we can be friends again. Ah! Natives! Damn, Oliver, calm down. It's Maggie and Kai. Nice to assimilate you, man. Again. Uh, I'm sorry. It's just, you surprised me. So, you guys have been here this whole time? That's right. Kai and I have been living in the forest, being one with nature and living off its resources. It has been a wonderful experience. So, what were you doing? A ritual. A dance to bring rain. Okay. Man, I feel some inconsistent vibes coming from you. You feel confused and aimless. Well, something like that. 
Miss Crystal fired me and kicked me out of the camp. I got distracted and ended up here. Do you know how to get on the road? Ah, yes. It's over there. Okay, thanks. I'll let you continue what you're doing. Wait, man. The universe says, look for the wise man who drinks from the turtle's neck. He will give the answer you are looking for. Okay. Bye. It's time to continue the dance, my warrior goddess. Okay, this will do for the night. I'm going to find some wood to make a fire. Check if there's something useful in the backpack. Tess, are you okay? Shut up. Just keep quiet. I need... I want all this to go away. I do not want to be here. Tess, calm down. We will be fine. We just have to wait for daylight and... No, you do not understand anything. Nobody understands why I came to this place. <laughs> Let go of me. I told you not to worry. I don't need you. Is there a reason father wants me to come back? It's because of the kisses, right? Mm, yeah, because of that and because you burned your books, didn't turn in your essays. They found out you hid photos of them and now everyone knows you're both are being stressed. But I'm not sure. I didn't pay much attention. I'm done. I'm sure he'll send me straight to boarding school, and I'll have to spend my youth surrounded by cranky nuns. Wow. Your parents seem tough, huh? They're the worst. Since I was born, they have controlled every aspect of my life. From the clothes I should wear, to the tone my skin should have. Well, at least your parents were with you. When I was a child, I could only see my dad on television. What about your mother? I don't know. Dad never talks about her. Wow. You may hear this as a bit ungrateful, but I would have preferred to see my dad on television than feel scared every time I see him in person. They haven't arrived yet? No, but according to the cameras, they won't be long. Aiden and James found a bike that Oliver hit, Rosa and Rhea put together a raft and are about to arrive as well. Just as I said, James and Aiden are the first to arrive! Are we the first? Yes, cool! <sighs> Rosa and Rhea come in second. That is great! Yay! I need to rest. Allie and Tess are the third team to make it to camp. Third place? But Lake is here. Where's Hunter? Here. Hunter! What happened, Hunter? Crystal took Lake. Lake is exiting the game. She took the backpack with her. I don't want another one. You're talking nonsense. We have to take you to the infirmary. Tess, help me. Is that true, Lake? You are going home? Unfortunately, yes. Father doesn't want me here anymore. So this is goodbye. It's your father. Hello, Mr. Muller. Yes, she is here with me. But there was a change of plans. She stays here and she'll just leave this camp. Boat it out or with a million bucks. Yeah? Uh huh. Okay. Yeah, I understand. Is that your best friend? <laughs> you don't know who we are, do you? Goodbye, Mr. Muller. Thank you, Miss Crystal. Okay, let go of me. I didn't do it for you. 
I will not allow anything or anyone to spoil this show. That's right. Father, mother, I'm not going anywhere. I will eat as many calories as I want. I will not marry anyone for your selfish interests, and I will not go to that boarding school. Whether I win the million or not, I will never let them control my life again. You can tell you all had a difficult night. And since I'm in a particularly good mood, there will be no eliminations today! Oh, yes! Yeah. Yes! James and Aiden, as a reward for getting here first, you can use my personal jacuzzi and invite whoever you want. Great! Come on, everybody! That's it, mate. Let's have a party. Don't you want to catch up with your followers? Nah, I'll do it later. Hey, you seem to be having fun. Do you mind if we join in? No problem. You're all welcome. Great. Hey, Ellie, when I told you, what I said about pretending to be my friend while I... Tess, it's okay. There is no problem. Let's have fun. Yeah, come on. One more day at this venture camp, and things just keep getting more dramatic. What will happen now that the team submerged? Will Tess open up her heart to Ali? How will it affect the love triangle? How long will this beautiful atmosphere last? Until the weight of competition destroys these beautiful friendships? You will know the answers to these questions in the next episode of This Venture Camp! What are you doing? I am putting together the platforms for today's challenge. Can't you see? Since when does a glamorous host get her hands dirty? There was no one else. Didn't you have an intern to take care of these things? Oliver? Uh, no. He... took a vacation. Whatever, it does not matter. Um, uh, Marcus, can you help me put this all together? Uh, I don't think so. Ever since Nina was kidnapped, I swore I would never let her go for a sec. <sighs> Could you... At least go to the monitor room and get me my megaphone. Okay, we'll be right back. And these platforms better be ready when I get back. Okay, girls. Ever since Oliver left, Crystal has been too busy doing double duty. That means this is our chance to get Ria's perfume back. Do you think we can do it without her finding out? I'm sure. I used her personal bathroom a while ago, and she didn't even notice. Why do you use her bathroom? It's prettier, and it is proof that this will be a successful mission, so let's go! Okay, let's speed up, that way it will be faster. I must thank you again. What you are doing for me, I really appreciate it. Sure, it's a pleasure. I found it! <gasps> oh, Rosa! Thank you, thank you, thank you! No problem, that is what friends are for. Now I see why it is important. Those perfumes are really expensive. What do you mean? Passion of the Red Lady. Mom and all her friends use that same fragrance. It's not the price nor the brand. This was a birthday present. Connor gave it to me before he left. I didn't know how sweet of him. I miss him. Isn't that weird? Well, some people connect so well that when they separate, they feel empty. It is not common, but it's real. Alright, mission accomplished. Let's go back to the cabin. Lake, is everything all right? It's okay, just this brought back some memories. Come on, what's up, friend? When I was really stressed out with my homework and started losing my hair, Mom took me to a wig shop. When I arrived, I saw a beautiful wig with red hair, but they didn't let me choose it. Mom was very upset with me because of my boldness, so she bought me this. 
she suddenly made me look like a good girl. Like, that wig you are holding, do you like it? Yes, very much. It looks like the one I saw in the store back then. Well, put it on then. Attention campers, today's challenge will start soon. Grab your swimsuits and head to the lake in 30 minutes. Well, you're here, come on! Sometimes I think about how much Lex's parents must hate me for being a bad influence on their daughter. But you know, it doesn't matter. Lake now looks really happy, so everything is fine. Welcome campers! Today's challenge will be divided into three stages. First, you will have to play the classic dodgeball. For that, I've divided you into two teams. Hunter, Lake, James and Rhea will be team A. Aiden, Rosa, Tess and Ali will be team B. All you have to do is throw the balls at the opposing team members and knock them off the platform. The team that runs out of members will lose the challenge. Any questions? Yes, will those platforms be able to support our weight? They look somewhat unstable. I was wondering the same thing. Get on the damn platforms already! Let the game begin! <laughs> Oops, I'm sorry! Two members. They only have Aiden and Tess. Oh no! I'm sorry, Aiden. Tess is the last member of Team B. And the way things are going, she'd say they're approaching a humiliating loss. This ball needs air! And mine too. What kind of bomb can blow up a ball properly? It's not as easy as it seems. Actually, mine works. Or get it. All the remaining balls are just as useless. What do we do now? Well, since Team A has four members and Team B only one, Team A wins by default. That's not fair. I decide what is fair. Now go sit down with the rest of the losers. Winning team, I'll see you in the next stage of the challenge. Really nice tattoo. Oh, yes, thanks. It's almost always covered by my clothes. Player two. Who is player one? He was my grandfather. Everything I know about video games, he taught me. There wasn't a more passionate gamer on Earth. We used to play together every day until three months ago when he died of lung cancer. Oh. Yeah. I was devastated. I didn't leave the house for a long time and I cried every day. That's why I decided to audition for this show. I wanted to take my mind off all that sadness. Wow. Life can be crap, right? Sometimes. Almost always. But you know, it's enough to take a step forward to see that life has so much to offer. Do you really believe that? Yeah. After all, coming to this place made it possible for me to meet Hunter and, of course, meet you. Well, I guess you're right. Attention campers, the second phase of the challenge is about to begin. The rules of the game are simple. You must use those dual sticks to knock down the other participants. The last two campers standing will advance to the final round. So, get started! I'm sorry. It's okay. That's the game. <laughs> you dropped my dual stick. Drop it! It's mine! <laughs> Why is nothing working right today? It's not easy for one person to put all this together, you know? James, Rhea, you're out. Blake, Hunter, 
you move on to the final round. You have a few minutes to take a break. Hi, Eden. Hey, Lake. That new look fits you amazing. Oh, thank you. It also gave me a push to make the change. Looks like things worked out between you guys. That's right. I must thank you for that. Talking to you helped me a lot. That's great. Now, can I ask you something? Sure. What is it? About James. You see, he's been very good to me these last few days, but I'm worried about trusting him and that he will disappoint me again. Like when he got Carol voted out. What do you think I should do? Well, ultimately, his methods of voting out Carol were somewhat questionable. But I think beyond that, he just wanted the two of you to stay in the game together. Do you think so? I think so. What he did to you, it doesn't seem like it was part of a strategy. Rather, I would say that he was protecting you. But why? If what he wants is an alliance, wasn't Yule a better option? Maybe he likes you. You mean like, he's in love with me? Exactly. The way he kissed you, the tone of his voice, his body movements when he's around you. You seem to know a lot about this subject. The point is, you'll only know if you give him the chance. Thanks for listening, Lake. That's what friends are for. Well, it's time to kick off the final stage of this challenge. Lake, Hunter, you will have to run along that obstacle course while avoiding the golf balls that it will shoot at you from this cannon. If you fall into the water, you can go back to the start and start over. If you manage to reach the end of the track, you will find some rings that you must throw at the totem pole in front of you. The first to hang a ring on the totem will win the challenge and immunity. So... Run! Congratulations, Hunter! You won the challenge and immunity. In addition, as an extra prize, you have 10 minutes of free conception in the vending machines. The others, I'll see you tonight for the elimination ceremony. Can I sit with you? Sure, dude. You don't have to ask. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Are we fine? Sure. What exactly do you mean? I mean that we can be friends again and even vote together. But if you have any plans or something, no matter what, I'd like you to tell me and keep me in mind. I promise, friend. Great. So, can we take pictures together again? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Hey guys, can we talk? Sure. What's up? It's about tonight's elimination. I think we should vote for Tess or Ali. 
Hunters Alliance has dominated the game since day one. The only loss they had was because I sent you to your team. That's right. If they're still this strong, it's only a matter of time before they make it to the final three. Okay, I get it. Let's do it. But who will we get out? Tess, we're back. And look at everything we got from the vending machines. There's still a long way to go before tonight's elimination, so we can spend the afternoon relaxing and playing video games. Wow, that sounds great. Guys, there's something I want to tell you. Sure, tell us. What's up? I just want to say... Thank you. Thank you for not giving up on me. Thank you for insisting on reaching out to me, even though I'm a mess. I was horrible to you. And yet, you treated me with kindness, patience, and love. I... I am very happy that I came to this camp. Despite many horrible things I've been through, meeting you two has been one of the best things that's ever happened to me. No need to thank. I'm happy to have met you too. Same for me. I'm glad to have new players in my life. Well, enough of the cutie stuff and more kick-ass. That's the attitude. Don't think I'm gonna let you guys win just because I got emotional. Yeah, I could have told them that it was sure Ellie or myself would be voted out at the end of the night, but what for? I, I prefer to spend these last few hours together without worries. Good night, campers. Everyone went to the confessional and deposited their votes in this ballot box. The camper with the most votes will have to leave the camp, get on the bus of losers, and leave this venture camp. First vote, James. Tess. Allie. James. Tess. James. Tess. That's three votes James, three votes Tess, one vote Ally. The last vote goes to... It's time for you to go. What? No, wait! Crystal, can I take Tess' place? If you do, you'll both leave the camp. Guys, guys, it's okay. Don't worry. Can you walk me out? Damn, I knew that if you left, attention would fall on us. We must have thought of a plan or something. I don't understand why you are so upset. This is not the end. Listen, you have to move on. Get as far as you can. At the end of all this, we will meet again, and we will be together. Yes, that's true. Wow. A very dramatic farewell worthy of this show, don't you think? The waters begin to shake again, and a new storm is approaching, bringing with it chaos, conflicts, and a lot of tension. Will Hunter and Allie be able to stand up to the rest of the campers? Will James keep his promise? Or will he ruin his relationship with Aiden again? What other signs of rebellion will they show? Find out in the next episode of... This Venture... Camp! Come on, you got them, Go-Kart! Get going! Are you still working on that? Why don't you just hire a new intern and move on? Impossible. There is no budget. Actually, there is. I'm the one who does the accounting, remember? 
No need. I can take care of everything. Sure. Like you did in the last challenge, right? It's a matter of practice. I'll do better today. Just hire a new intern. I can't. Damn. Why not? Because if I do it, I would be admitting that I was wrong. Okay? There's nothing wrong in admitting you made a mistake, little one. It's late. We are halfway through the show, and even though I've hired a new intern, there won't be someone that fits into the rhythm of the show. Oliver was the last one without experience. Wow. You really screwed it up. Go find the boy. I'm sure you can convince him to come back if you apologize. Or at least pretend like you do. Fine. I'll go find him. But I need someone to be in charge of today's challenge. Don't worry. I'll take care of it. I'll try to get back as soon as possible. Follow the instructions in the monitor room. Don't let the campers touch my stuff. And most of all, keep Nina under control. Understood. As if you could. So, last time at this venture camp, Crystal did a mediocre job putting together a series of aquatic challenges. Many campers got hurt, got wet, and hurt again. There were cheesy moments, funny moments, and a lot of suffering. In the end, Hunter beat the Baldi, winning immunity. However, his alliance became the main target and Tess was voted out, but not before having an emotional farewell with her friends. How ridiculous. Will Crystal find Oliver? Will James be able to maintain his new friendship? Will Allie take advantage of the extra space in the bed? All these questions will not have an answer because this will be the last episode. You know what, Lick? Ever since you have been wearing that new wig, you look so much happier. Thanks. I feel great wearing it. In fact, I was thinking of getting a tattoo when this is all over. Wow, that sounds great. What are you getting? That is still a secret. I already want to know. <laughs> Speaking of secrets, I have to show you something. <gasps> I found the totem minutes before the Queen Challenge started. With this, our alliance will reach the final three. Rosa, that's fabulous. Yes, it is. Although it came with some rules, I must use it to save myself or someone before the boats are read. Oh, that makes things more difficult. That's right. If someone of you feels in danger at any time, you should tell me before the ceremony so I can use it and save you. So we will. I was searching with Rosa that day. And now that Lake is in the Alliance, is when she decided to reveal that she found the totem? Why didn't she tell me before? Does she not trust me? I miss Tess so much. Maybe we should have focused that afternoon on the game so we go far together. Yeah, I regret that too. But it's for her that we must not give up. Besides, a million dollars would come in handy. Yes, you're right. We must give our maximum effort to win the next challenge. That's right. Uh, attention, campers. The challenge is about to start. Meet me at the racetrack in 15 minutes. It's been more than three hours. Where's Crystal? Actually, I think it was Marcus who spoke over the speakers. Well, we comply with coming here. If the host does not do her job, there is nothing to do. Let's go, girls. Sorry for the wait. Marcus had a little accident. Nothing to worry about, but he won't be able to lead today's challenge. On the other hand, I am more than happy to invite all of you to my fun game. The rules are simple. You will be stopped and eliminated by my friend, the Night Butcher. And you will have to defeat him if you want to win. If the sun rises and there's still someone standing, 
that person will win the challenge. Otherwise, it doesn't matter. You all will be dead. <laughs> But the game began. The Night Butcher. What kind of name is that? Don't take this seriously. It's just Marcus trying to scare us. Just like every time he makes that puppet talk. Excuse me. Have you already forgotten that the puppet spoke when I held it? Trust me, mate. There's a lot of tricks that could explain that. After all, we are in a television show. It's true. The best thing is to ignore all that and enjoy this night off. You're right. Let's go to the lake to see the stars. Great idea, Lake. Okay, come on. Well, Hunter, what do you think if we spend the night playing video games? Of course. But first, I'm going to take a shower. You can wait for me at the cabin. So, what do we do now? How about we watch a horror movie? Am I scared of horror movies? <laughs> of course not. A horror movie? Eh, sounds good. Let's go. <laughs> This is like a horror movie. Everyone ignores the seriousness of the problem until it's too late. <laughs> What? I don't understand you. Stop making noise. You're distracting me. Ah, oh, come on. I'm sure I saw popcorn here the other day. Aha, uh -huh. got it. Hello, James. Uh, who are you? Ah. Uh. I'm following you. You, another follower who gets my number. Look, thanks for the support, but you can. What are you doing? Uh, I'm making popcorn. I'm going to watch a horror movie. Do you like horror movies? Yeah, I guess. Do you like them better than your boyfriend Aiden? He's not my boyfriend. Listen. I'm going to hang up. Don't call again. Wait. I have to tell you something. What? I'm going to enjoy this. Silly horror movies. Maybe I can convince James to watch a comedy movie. Ah! Uh! James? James? Is everything all right? If this is some kind of TikTok prank, I swear I'm going to be pissed. James! Can you hear me? Say something, please! I'll go look for help! <laughs> That was wonderful! Attention, campers! The first two victims of the Night Butcher have fallen. There are only five of you left. I hope you take this situation more seriously now. <laughs> two victims? What is this? Real? I don't think so. I mean, they couldn't really hurt us, right? We better go look for the others. If this is a joke, They will just laugh at us, and that is it. If it isn't, well, better make sure. Hello? Anyone there? Girls, are you there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny. Bothering someone in the shower is bad taste and... Allie?
to this situation. Get to a safe place. No, what? Let's go back to the cabin. James keeps another phone in his bed. If we use it, we can ask for help. Okay, let's hurry. Where are you, damn puppet? I'll make you pay for what you did to Allie. Marcus, hold on. I'll help you right away. Behind you! What? Ah! Billy boy, do you really think I'll let you ruin my fun? Nina, you are taking this too far and you should be ashamed. Yes, yes, you can reprimand me all you want later. But now, shut up for a while, okay? Finally, thanks for being late. As you can see, I have to take care of the problem myself. Now stop wasting time and finish the job. Come on, come on. Nothing. No signal. How is that possible? James is always posting stuff. Maybe Nina cut the lines of communication. Nina is just a puppet. The one behind this must be Marcus. I knew he was crazy, but I never imagined that he was that crazy. Fine, fine. Let's keep calm. Everything will be fine as long as we stay here. Rosa, what do we do? I... I... I won't go without you. Just run! Ah! What? Come on, Lake! One more victim on the list of the butcher. There are only two left. Rhea, no. Rosa, look! Come on, Lake! Oh no, the keys are gone. It doesn't matter. Do you know how to start a car without keys? Yes, and don't ask me how. <gasps> You're going to be screwed for what you did, bastard! I, I hate this damn blonde budget show. Rosa, look! He's not there anymore! Rosa, no! Let's escape together! Go now! Do you think I'm afraid of you? I grew up in a neighborhood where seeing assholes with weapons treating others was the daily norm. And unlike you, they were scary. Christmas helicopter! With that, I can get out of here. Let me go, you psycho! <laughs> Enough already! <laughs> That's for attacking my friends! Off Vidison. Ah, uh, my head spins. Uh, I know, mine too. James, are you okay? Of course I am. 
Why do you ask? Um, well, I went looking for you in the kitchen and you were... There? Just like Ali? Ketchup? Yes, this is ketchup. Okay, okay. Calm down. Everything's fine. Well, what are you waiting for? Stop pretending. Okay, but just because I'm glad you're not dead. Oh, please cut it out. You will make me throw up. It looks like the tranquilizers have worn off. Tranquilizers? Of course, dummy. Everything was simulated. Do you really think it was real? I apologize for what happened. When Nina gets excited, see, she takes things too far. Too far? She almost scared us to death! Well, it wouldn't be fun otherwise. And since none of you idiots managed to beat the Night Butcher, she has won the challenge. See? <gasps> Carol? Hi guys, I'm glad to see you again. I feel bad that this reunion was not under better conditions, but the producers gave me the opportunity to get back in the game if I cooperated for a challenge. I hope that from now on, we can get along. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Since Carol won this challenge, she will not only return to the game, but she also has immunity for her and two people of her choosing. What? That is not fair. It's true, but I don't care. Well, Carol, who will you give immunity to? Hmm. Well, sorry guys, but the immunities go to Allie and Hunter. Yes, I needed it. Oh no. Well, Carol, Allie and Hunter have immunity today. The rest, one of you will be voted out tonight. It's not fair! Allie or Hunter were going to get voted out and now they have immunity because Nina just wanted more drama. What are we going to do now? I don't want to vote for the girls. And we were just starting an alliance with James and Aiden. This will be difficult. Did they think the chaos would end with the challenge? Let's see what they do now that their easy votes have immunity. <laughs> what are we going to do? We will have to vote for one of the other girls. There is no other option. Which one would you vote for? Lake? I'm not voting for Lake. Maybe Rhea? Lake is one of the strongest competitors left. I'm aware of that, but I still wouldn't vote for her. I think we'll be voting for different people at this ceremony. And as if that weren't enough problems already, Carol returned, who hates us. Don't worry, dude. I was the one who accused her in front of everyone, remember? Of course I remember. And not once have I seen her blame you for it. She went to me. Only to me. She called me a traitor and she wants me out of the game. I know that my reaction was somewhat immature at that moment. Carol! Listen, I'm really sorry about- Aiden, calm down! I will not vote for you, nor for James, so don't worry, okay? What are you up to, Carol? Me? Nothing. I am just trying to turn the page and start over. Do you really expect us to believe that you already forgot everything that happened? Just like that. Believe what you want, James. But my therapist says that resentment is a drag on the road to recovery. Wow! It's great that Carol is back with a new attitude. I can't believe Carol saved us even though we never talked to her. I think Nina told her to do it. Well, we have to decide who's the best option for us to leave and try to get more votes if we want to keep moving forward. How about Lake? There were already two challenges that she was very close to winning. If we want to have a chance, we must win challenges ourselves. No problem. I haven't talked to her much anyway. I'll talk to Rhea. Maybe she votes with us. You should talk to Carol. Does that sound good to you? Sure. 
Well, we only have two options for this boat, James or Aiden. I guess it will be James. Do you agree, Ria? Sure, no problem. Well, then it will be James. I had to go to the bathroom, girls. We'll talk later. Hey, Ria, I was looking for you. Me? What's going on? I wanted to propose that we vote together in the ceremony. Hmm, who would it be? Blake. I think she's one of our biggest competitors. It's true. Do you think there are enough boats to vote her out? I think so. Okay, I'll think about it. Well, if what Alice said is true, Lake could be bought out tonight. I could tell Rosa to save her with her totem, but I have to think is that really what I want. I'm warning you, no more crazy stuff or I will punish you severely. Well, Morans, I hope you have spent the day with the torturous intrigue of knowing who will be going home. Everyone has already voted, but first, if someone has an immunity totem and wants to play it, now is the time to do it. Well, no one. So let's read the vote. First vote. James. Rhea. Wait. James. Wait. James. Late. That's three votes late. Three votes James. And one vote Rhea. The camper leaving this venture camp is... Late. It's four votes. You must go. Lake! It can't be! I should have known. So sad you have to go, Lake. Baldy, you must go. The bus awaits for you. I'm sorry, Lay. I should have used the totem to save you when it was time. It's okay, Rosa. You've already done more for me than you can imagine. I mean, just look at me. When I came to this place, I was a good girl who had no control over her own decisions. Now I am free, thanks to you. I love you, Rosa. Oh, I love you too. What are you waiting for, Ria? Come here! I was able to save Lake by telling Rosa to use the totem, but since Lake and Rosa reunited, she's been her best friend and ally, and they kind of let me out. I feel guilty for not telling her anything, but at least we're still both in the game, and we'll still have the totem. Well, for this vote, I joined the majority without causing any problems. But I haven't forgotten what Aiden and James did to me. As soon as I gain the trust of the others, I'm going to destroy them completely and make them leave this filthy camp. A glass with water, please. Wow, you look terrible, kid. Connor? What are you doing here? I gotta ask you the same thing. Shouldn't you be at camp? I... I quit. Well, actually, Crystal fired me. Oh, uh, sorry, son. Hey, if you're looking for a job, one of my warehouses needs a new manager. You interested? So seriously? I'd love to! <laughs> The universe says, Look for the wise man who drinks from the turtle's neck. That's it! It's you! Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, oh, nothing. It's okay, boss. Who are you calling boss, Oliver? Crystal? How did you know I was here? 
Each intern has a tracking chip in case they want to escape. And I am Miss Crystal to you. Ha! Huh, I think not. I no longer work for you. Now Connor is my new boss. Yes, of course. As if Connor would want a pathetic and wordless intern working for him. And you don't? I mean, you clearly followed the boy here for a reason. Uh, well, I... Are things really bad without me? Of course not. Everything is going great without you. <laughs> huh? Oh, come on! You too? You spork, you piece of garbage! You were saying? I... I am sorry, okay? I made a mistake. The show needs you, Oliver. Wow, I never thought I'd hear you apologizing. So, will you come back? If I were to come back, you'd behave yourself for a few hours and then just go back to your old ways again. Oliver, now that I have to do your job, I realize that what you do is very important and very difficult. You even deserve a raise. Wow. If you think it's the right thing to do, you can go. Hey, I can still get you another job when the season's over. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it. Excellent. Time to head back to camp. I promise you that this time everything will be different. Safe trip back. Right away, Connor. What are you doing outside the hotel? None of the voted out campers are allowed to roam until the season is over. Oh, I bought that hotel. Whatever. Let's go, Oliver. What's going on? Why it's so cold all of a sudden? This doesn't make any sense. We should be at 80 degrees. It almost feels like it's... Snowing? Fantastic! Just when I thought this camp couldn't get any more horrible. Are you kidding me? This is incredible! Do you like snow, Rosa? In my town it never snowed, so this is kind of exciting for me. I wish Lake was here. I know, it's very sad. But you know, we must move on. What would Rosa think of me if I told her that I knew Lake was going to be bought out and I didn't say anything? It's not something I'm proud of. But if I wanted Rosa to be by my side, it's best if Lake wasn't here. That's weird. There shouldn't be snow this time of year. Well, maybe it's because of climate change. Good morning, campers! Do you like the changes we made to the camp? <laughs> In the bathrooms, you will find special clothes for this weather. When you're ready, Meet up at the storage for your challenge. It's all Crystal doing. Sure, that makes more sense. Well, you heard her. Let's go. Oh. Hey, Rhea. I just wanted to tell you that I'm very happy to be back in the game. I never spoke to you, and I would like to get to know you better. Oh, sure, Carol. I know what it's like to feel left out. So I won't let it happen to you. Thank you very much. It was very hard to be the second voted out after trying so hard. Why did you get bought out? James and Aiden. They manipulated everyone, had them under control, and even told lies about me to the others to get me out. Whoa, that must have been frustrating. Yes. That's why when I get the chance, I'd like to vote them out. I hope you can be on my side. You seem so nice. How come James and Aiden hate you that much? I don't know. I don't think they ever liked me. I knew Carol was up to something. Two weeks of therapy are not enough to change your attitude so radically. Welcome, campers! As you may have noticed, the camp is covered in winter flare. So, today's challenge will have the same theme. The challenge will be divided into three stages. For the first part, you will have to build a custom sled. 
you can use all the materials and scraps that you find in the storage. The most original sled will win advantage for the second stage of the challenge. Any questions? Who will decide which sled is better? Well, obviously... Oliver! Oliver will! Uh, me? That's right, Oliver. Your opinion is very important. So you will be the judge. Uh, okay, I guess. Alright, let the challenge begin. How are you doing, Allie? I'm doing great, thanks. Fine, it's just I thought I might give you some tips on making the sled stronger. Thanks, but it's an originality challenge, Hunter. If you help me, it won't be so original anymore. I understand. I just wanted to, you know, increase our chances of winning. Now the test is gone and with my apparent death, Hunter has felt guilty and wants to be in control of the situation. And I don't like that. <laughs> spider! It's okay, Aiden. Despite their appearance, most spiders are harmless. See? You could hold it in your hand to overcome fear. Fine. I'll try. Well, it doesn't seem so bad. Thank you, Carol. Sure, whenever you want. Hey, Aiden. There's something I need to tell you. Sure. What's going on? I heard Carol and Raya talking. Carol wants us out. She's just pretending to be good to earn your trust. Maybe you heard wrong. No, I'm sure of what I heard. I have proof. James, we'll talk about it later. You better focus on finishing your sled. Okay, James has been behaving well for many days, but I feel that Carol's presence has upset him a bit. I feel like he's trying to manipulate me and vote her out. Again. Good, Oliver. It's up to you to decide which sled is the best. Hmm... Well, Oliver, who is the winner? Hmm, definitely Rosa Maria. <laughs> Oliver, can you explain? Yeah, explain. My sled is so well made it looks like I bought it. Exactly. For this reason, it completely lacks originality. On the other hand, Rosa's sled is poorly built, but it has a lot of personality. Wait, I put a lot of personality into mine too. That's not a sled, that's a snowboard, it doesn't count. Well, Rosa Maria wins as part of the challenge, and an advantage for the next stage. You can rest while I... relax my face for a bit. Hey, we need to talk. It's rude to wait for a lady outside the bathroom, you know. Don't be silly. We both know you're up to something, so you'd better be careful. I don't know what you're talking about. I just came back to make up with everyone. Carol, I heard you tell Raya that you wanted me out. Ugh, yes. Well, and who is going to believe you after manipulating everyone? I won't let you to get away with it. There is not much you can do. Everything is already underway. Soon you and that boy will be out of my camp. Alright campers, for the second stage of the challenge, you must choose a partner and reach the top of the hill. Sounds easy. But you'll have to pull a sled with your partner on it all the way up the hill. Damn. Oh, sorry, I don't know if you noticed, but we are not even. Someone will be left alone. Exactly. That's your reward, Rosa. For having won the previous stage, you will be able to go alone. That means you will have an advantage because you will not have to carry someone. 
Everyone else, pick your partner and get ready to run! On your mark, get set, go! I don't understand how I let you convince me into this. Well, do you know what they say? Happy girl, happy life. I weigh twice as much as you, maybe more. That's the point, Hunter. You don't have to carry all the way by yourself. We are a team. We're supposed to do it together. Are you talking about the game? I'm talking in general. Hey then. Yes? You think what I told you a while ago is a lie, right? Well, to be honest, yes. You already lied to me a couple of times, so it wouldn't be very wise to blindly believe you again. I'm sorry, but I can't. You're right. About what? About not believing blindly. If I'd been fooled like that twice, I wouldn't either. So, are you going to stop saying those things about Carol? No, I'm just saying that to apologize. I, I don't regret strategizing in the game, but... I think I should have included you in it. Sorry. It's all right. But this time, I need you to trust me. Look at this. James and Aiden. They manipulated everyone. That's why when I get the chance, I'd like to vote them out. Wow. So you were right. I told you. And I was trusting her and doubting you. I feel like an idiot. It's okay, Aiden. I get you. How is a wolf helping you with that? I fed him yesterday. He's just returning the favor. You're very kind, Carol. You are too. You know, Rhea. You and I are not that different. Uh, what are you talking about? We don't fit in this place. And although they may seem friendly, in the end we are not a priority for them. Sooner or later, they will want to discard us. Surely you already noticed, right? It's not being so difficult to convince Rhea. She apparently has been insecure with her position here since she arrived. That can play in my favor. Carol is right. I must not forget my goal. I haven't stopped feeling in my work and that's why I came here. This is my last chance to be someone and I don't want to return to India with my family. Why are you telling me this? Because I want you to see things as they really are and to understand me. Of course I understand you. I feel like this since I arrived. And if we won't walk out here with great friends, we should at least try to do it with a million dollars. See you on top, girls. <laughs> huh? Come on, Carol. We're almost there. It looks like it would be a race between Rhea and Carol's team against Rosa to win the advantage in the final stage. Who will make it? Rosa wins the second part of the challenge! Woohoo! You will have two rewards. The first is that you can choose any of the other campers to be your partner in the final stage. Believe me, you will need someone you can trust. Great, I choose Rhea. The final stage of the challenge will be a race again. But this time, one of you will be blindfolded. <gasps> That's right. One of you will be going blind while driving the sled down the hill. And your partner will have to guide you avoiding any obstacles in the way. The first couple to cross the finish line will have immunity. Rosa, since you won the previous challenge, you can use these helmets in case you bump into something. The rest of you better not crash! And I go alone? 
Hmm. Oliver, how do you think we should solve this? Well, I guess it wouldn't be fair for her to go alone. I can go with her so this part of the challenge can be completed fairly. Okay. Decide who will drive and who will lead. Then go to your positions. Do you want me to put the blindfold on? No, I'll do it. You guide the way. Sure, sounds good. I will drive, you guide me. Are you sure? Of course, I trust you. Mm. Which one of us should bandage up? Okay, I'll let you guide me. Great, we are going to win. Yes, we will. We better get to the starting line. Yeah, I'll check the sled. I have to win this challenge. You will put on the bandage and you better pay attention to what I say. Yes, yes, I understand. I'll take the sled to the start line. I'll see you there. Psst, Oliver, here. But wouldn't this be unfair to the other campers? But you're not a camper. Just take it. Okay. Thanks, I guess. Hide it and put it on if you feel like you're going to crash. Crystal's been acting really strange since I got here, and it seems to be hurting her a bit. On your marks, ready, go! Left, right, right, left. That's it. This will be a piece of cake. Left. Stay straight. We'll take a ramp. Now! Awesome, James! Right! Left! Down! Yeah! We're good! Lean more. We must go faster. If I do, I'll have my face on the ground. I don't care. Uh, hey! Uh, ow! Good luck, Aiden. Stop lying! What are you talking about? I know the truth! James, to the right! Hey, what's wrong with you, idiot? Oliver, to the left! But... I said left! Ow! Ha! Huh, now you have what you deserve! Rosa, this lead feels a bit unstable! We would better get there fast. Oh! oh. I'm glad we won the helmet. <laughs> right! Lift! Ugh. Allie, are you okay? Allie! Huh? What? Ha ha ha! Victory is mine! Huh? There's something on my face! Ah! Calm down, idiot! It's just a spider! Get it off! Get it off! I had this helmet, and luckily I landed on something soft. You landed on me, idiot! My leg! I need medical attention! Oh, sorry! Where is the spider? It can't stay in the snow. I have to return it to it. No! Has anyone seen Allie? This didn't go as expected, but it's easily solved. With Hunter being the only one to cross the finish line, he wins immunity. Just me? That's right. Allie didn't make it with you, so she doesn't have immunity. Oliver, can you go find the medical team, please? Sure. Did Crystal say... please? Aiden, you darn bastard! I gave you that spider to take care of it! And you put it in danger like it's nothing! You are trash miserable! You and James are one of a kind! Oh, shut up, Carol! You crashed into us during the challenge! If you think that harming a bug is worse than harming a person, then you are insane! It's not a bug! It's an arachnid! Whatever! Everyone plays dirty and gets what they want. Is that the only way to get far in this game? Well... I think James was right when he said we'd all do the same eventually. You have to be kidding me. What do they know about medicine? Uh, I was a medic in the Vietnam War. 
Well, after doing a thorough check on her leg, it looks like she's not in condition to continue in the game. What? This is pure bullcrap! I am sorry, Carol. The law forces us to transfer any contestant in a delicate condition to a specialized medical center. But I'm fine! I can recover fast! You can't do this to me again! I have many plans to fulfill! Marcus... Nina... Please take her out. No! You have to get rid of Aiden and James! They are... I will see you at the elimination where you will have to vote out someone else. What? Another eliminated today apart from Carol? What did you expect? There are only three episodes left, and there are still a lot of you. Ah, oh, fine. Uh... We really needed to win immunity together tonight. I know, they'll probably vote for me now. Anyway, we must do something to try and save you. I'll talk to Rhea to see if there's any chance she'll vote for James, Aiden or Rosa. Yeah, we have nothing to lose. The worst that can happen is that it doesn't work, but hey, at least I could see this again. <laughs> That's true. Aiden... Did you really sabotage Carol with the spider? I didn't want to hurt Carol. I just put the spider there to distract her so she wouldn't win the challenge. Well, the important thing is that she's already out of the game and the danger is over. Was it wrong? No. You're finally thinking about the future of the game. I'm proud of you. Can we talk about tonight's elimination? What's on your mind? Alright, campers. Everyone made a decision and deposited your votes in this urn. The one with the most votes must leave the camp. But first, if someone has immunity totem and wants to use it, now is the time to do so. Fine, no one. I will read the votes. First vote, Ali. Second vote, Ali. Third vote, Rosa. Fourth vote, Rosa. That's two votes, Ali. Two votes, Rosa. Fifth vote, Ali. Last vote, Ally. It's time for you to go. Well, we already knew this could happen. Sorry, guys, but your alliance has been the strongest. It's okay. It's all strategy in this game, right? Yeah, at least we tried. Come on, Ally. I'll walk you out. Say hi to Tess for me. Tell her I miss her. I will. We will also play video games together, so we will kick your ass when... Hunter, no. We agreed that we wouldn't talk or do anything about this until the game is over. I'm sorry. It's just that I... Don't. Don't say anything anymore. I'll send your regards to this. One more day at this venture camp. What will happen now that Aiden is no longer afraid to play dirty? Will Hunter be able to keep winning immunities? Will Rhea overcome her insecurities? How long will it take for all this snow to melt away? Find out all the answers in the next episode of... This Venture... Cam! James, wake up. Seems that we fell asleep watching the movie. Yeah, well, if we hadn't watched that cheesy drama movie, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> oh, sorry. Some of us like art and not just those bloodbaths you call horror movies. But we stay very awake when we watch those movies, don't we? Whatever. Okay, let's go get some breakfast. Have you seen my phone? I had it right here. 
Check under the bed. Maybe you dropped it when you fell asleep. Good morning, guys. I'm on my way to the dining room. Would you like to join so we can have breakfast together? Sure. That's where we're going. We'll catch up with you in a moment. Yeah. See you there. Well, you find it? No, nothing. I'll keep looking. Go ahead and have breakfast. I'll catch you later. Okay. Hey man, did your mom ever tell you that you shouldn't play with your food? Rosa! Oh yeah, how are you? <laughs> are you okay, Hunter? I think so. Why do you ask? Well, you look kind of sad. Well, I'm dealing with the fact that Tess and Allie aren't here anymore. The three of you were very close. It is normal for you to feel sad. Now they are gone. No, it's not just that. Hunter, I know we haven't talked much since we got here, but if there is something that worries you, you can count on me. I am a very good listener. No, it's not just that. I... I'm not in the mood to talk right now. I'm an idiot. I got carried away by my impulses and I ended up kissing Allie. I was the one who told them that we had to wait for the game to end and I broke my word. Now, I'm alone and... I can't fix it. Good morning, Gulliver. How is the best intern in the world? Good morning, Miss Crystal. Uh, I'm fine, thank you. I just want you to know that you're doing an excellent job. To thank you for that dedication, I decided to make you breakfast. Did you cook for me? Sure. I can't let you go hungry during working hours. Okay. Thank you, Miss Crystal. Enjoy. Oh. Hmm. Since I got back to camp, I've taken breaks. I can go to the bathroom whenever I want. I've eaten three times a day, and now Crystal cooks delicious food for me. All this good treatment feels kind of strange. Yes, traveling sounds great, but I think that if I win, I will invest all of the money in my daughter's future. That's fantastic, Rosa. I would love to visit Mexico one day. Well, when you do, you can stay at my house, which is your house. Do not forget. I won't. Thanks. I'm here. Hello. Did you find your phone? No, no yet. Oh, I'm sorry, James. I know it is important to you. Yeah, whatever. I'm sure it will show up. Hello, guys. Ria, what's wrong? It's nothing. It's just... I was looking for my perfume. But I think I lost it. Yeah. Lately, things have been getting lost in this camp. Don't worry, Ria. It will show up. Okay, let's get down to business. Hunter can't win today's challenge. Right. We must work together to make him lose it. What? Wait! Wouldn't that be playing dirty? Rosa, if we don't make Hunter lose, he could get immunity and we'd have to vote each other again. Well, it's decided. Hunter is leaving today. Attention campers! Today's challenge will start soon. Meet at the woods in 15 minutes. Don't be late! Well, you heard her. Come on, Rosa. Yeah, I'm going after you. I know how to differentiate the game from friendship, but that doesn't mean we should play dirty. And the way everyone accepts so easily scares me a little. Welcome, campers. I hope you're ready and willing to win. Because this will be the last challenge before the semi-final. I'll explain today's challenge. As you will notice, these backpacks have three balloons attached to each one. Inside the backpacks, there are guns with darts that you must use to pop the balloons of the others. But you must also prevent others from blowing up yours. The camper with one or more balloons left intact will win the challenge and immunity. Any questions? You're saying that we should throw darts at each other? Isn't that dangerous? Don't worry! I'll change the normal darts for plastic darts. In addition, inside the backpacks, I also put protective glasses for your eyes. 
Excellent work, Oliver. Always thinking of others. <laughs> Grab your backpacks and get started. <laughs> Easy, Hunter, it's me. I just want to tell you something. Okay, I'm listening. James, Aiden, and Aria had agreed to align in the challenge for you to be eliminated. What? All of you against me? I know, it is not fair, but I will have to help them. I understand. I would have done the same if I were with Tess and Allie. Thanks, Rosa. It is nothing now. Go away! James, I know you're upset about losing your phone, but we need to focus on finding Hunter. What if I told you I didn't lose it? What? What are you talking about? I mean, I didn't lose it. Someone stole it. That's a very serious and rushed assumption. You have to be absolutely sure. Come on, Nathan. Do you really think I will just lost my phone like that? Well, it's possible. Raya can find her perfume either. Do you know what I see? A pattern. And when there is a pattern, then it's not a coincidence. And who do you think did it? You tell me. Who is the only person in the camp with that background? What the hell? James, look up! Quick, move! What's wrong with that guy? Attacking from above is not fair. At least he only burst one. Uh... James? Damn. Come on. <laughs> it's it's nothing. I'm perfectly fine. Well, your stress levels say otherwise. Stressed out? Me? <laughs> of course not. Say that to those bitten nails and bags under your eyes. <sighs> That's enough. I have a lot of work to do. Isn't checking the cameras your minion's job? He... he's on his break. Hey, Hunter! Get out of whatever you're hiding! Yes, Hunter. Rhea, be careful! Ah! I'm sorry, Rhea. This is my fault. What are you talking about? I tell Hunter that we will attack him in this challenge. Why did you do that? I feel bad that the four of us were attacking him. Now it makes sense that he was prepared. I have to tell Aiden and James, but I feel like they are going to get mad. Don't worry, I'll cover you. Hey, what are you doing here? You should be looking for Hunter. We tried, but Hunter always attacks us from a distance and escapes before we can respond. This is ridiculous. It's like if Hunter had prepared beforehand. Well, maybe I... I could have told him about our intentions. You did what? Rosa, how could you? We're supposed to be a team. Excellent, Rosa. Just like we planned. What are you talking about? It's all part of our plan. We make Hunter drop his guard, lure him to a location, and use the one person he trusts to distract him. And so... And so, when Hunter is distracted, we all attack him at the same time. It's a great idea, isn't it, James? Sure. Brilliant. Okay, what's the dining room? We'll be in the kitchen. Rhea, thanks for covering me. Don't worry, Rosa. I'm not upset. In fact, it is the opposite. Oh, really? Yes, it's just a game. You did what you thought was right for you, and it doesn't bother me at all. Yeah, I guess. Fine, now go be the bait. The rest of us will hide. Hi, Hunter. Won't you try to attack? I ran out of ammunition. Oh, I see. Well... I'll let you go this time. Wait, what? Why? You warned me of the joint attack, even if it hurt your alliance. You're a good person. Hunter, I... No!
Rosa, shoot him! Why did you stop? We already had it. Guys, calm down. Hunter only has one balloon left, but between all of us, we have six. That means we have a better chance of taking him down. That's right. Now, guys, it's time to hunt down Hunter. Useless! Hunter is nowhere to be found! Come on, we can't keep up! Maybe he's in the bats! I already looked there, and I didn't see anything. Damn! Attention campers! You only have 15 minutes left. If you fail to finish the challenge, the camper with the most intact balloons wins. More intact balloons? It means Aiden or me. You know... We should stop looking for Hunter. Let's wait for time to run out and let Aiden win. Aiden? Yes. James, what are you doing? Hey, what's wrong with you? That was for letting Hunter get away. Stop it already! And that was for stealing my phone. Wait, I did what? You better be joking. I'm out of darts! Me too. Rosa, quick! Empty your backpack and look for more darts! <gasps> what the hell? And so, in the last few minutes, patiently waiting for the opportunity, Hunter wins a challenge and also immunity. Congratulations, Hunter! Yes! I won. Uh, guys? James was right! Of course I was. No, wait. I did not sell anything. I don't know how this got into my backpack. Ria, you have to believe me. Rosa, I... I don't know what to say. I am very confused. You'd better pack your bags because you're leaving tonight. Can I sit here? Yes, of course. What a day, right? Tell me about it. If it makes you feel better, I believe you. Thank you, Hunter. That relieves me a bit. Actually, I wanted to apologize to you. What? Why? This morning you tried to talk to me and I was very rude. I'm sorry. Don't worry, it is okay. Do you want to do it now? Maybe. It's about Tess and Allie. They both like me. I think I feel the same way about them too. When all three of us were together, we were very happy. And what is the problem? I'm scared to destroy that happiness by making a bad decision. I see. And they have asked you to make a decision? Well, not really. Then you don't have to. If the three of you are happy together, why change it? I don't know, because it's normal, right? Who told you that? Honor said I had to pick one. Connor is a good guy, but time change and different is not equal with Beth. Do you think so? I'm sure. Thanks, Rosa. Talking to you really made me feel better. Anytime. Now that I think about it, maybe it was inappropriate to bother you with my problems. After all, you seem to have one right now. I wouldn't worry about that. Everyone went to the booth and deposited their votes in this urn. Camper with the most votes will have to leave camp, get on the loser's bus, and will never be able to return. If someone has a totem... Me! I have an immunity totem and I want to use it now. Fine, bring it. 
Yes, it's right here. What? And give me a second. I I swear I had it in my pocket. What's up? Did someone steal it from you? You don't have the totem. Stop wasting my time. First boat, Rosa. Second boat, James. Third boat, Rosa. Fourth boat, James. That's two boats Rosa, two boats James. The last boat goes to... Rosa, it's time for you to go. I just want to say that I'm living with a clear conscience. I'll play fair, I did the right thing, helped everyone I could, and didn't sell anything. I know who I am, I am not a thief. Yes, yes, very nice. Now go away. Come on, Rosa, I'll walk you out. Thank you for coming with me, Ria. It's the last I can do. I don't know what happened, but you have to be careful of James. Don't worry, I have a plan to deal with James. Ria, I didn't steal anything. I know, Rosa. It was me. What? But how? I stole James' phone and put it in your backpack, along with my perfume. I also took your immunity totem. You... you did all that? Did you frame me? Did you make me look like a thief in front of everyone? I was acting, Rosa. The boys didn't doubt it for a second. Ria, why did you do this to me? We can betray each other inside the game and still be friends outside of it. Just like you betraying the Alliance by spoiling the plan to Hunter. These are things that happen in this game. The problem isn't the game, it is you, Ria. You let the competition change you. You may win the million, but you will be alone again. Come on, Rosa. Don't be mad. <laughs> I am not mad. I am disappointed. Everything went as planned. When I saw the things, I didn't know whether to blame Hunter or Rosa. But I came up with a plan that could take me far. And unfortunately... I had to sacrifice Rosa in order to fulfill it. This has definitely been the most dramatic elimination yet. Will Rhea be able to dominate the game now that the competition has made her set her morals aside? Can Hunter survive the next challenge? What will happen to James and Aiden now that they're the only alliance standing? All these questions will be answered in the next episode of this venture miss crystal marcus what happened you've been working harder than you should little one looks like your blood pressure dropped and you passed out Crystal can't work too much because she gets sick. Crystal, you can't do everything by yourself and also take care of me. I don't need it. You just treating me like a human being is enough for me. So, what am I supposed to do? I promise you that everything will be better. Crystal, I agree to come back because you said things would be different. But that doesn't mean I'll stop being your intern. You are not happy if I let myself go. But you're not happy if I control myself, either. It's never enough. <sighs> Forget about letting go or controlling yourself. Just be you. Now, I'm going to the city for some medication. The show can't continue if the host is not in good condition. Fine. I'll take what you want if you stop bothering me. Off I go. Come on, Nina. And spend hours listening to your mix of country music? No thanks, I'll stay. If she doesn't want to go, she can stay with us. Uh, I don't know. Please, let me stay. I hate traveling. It's okay, Marcus. You know I can deal with her. Okay. Nina, listen to Crystal. See you when I get back. 
Safe travels. What? What are you waiting for? Do your work. <sighs> Last time at this venture camp, the campers showed their true nature as they faced the pressure of reaching the semi-final. James, Aiden, Rhea, and Rosa made an alliance against Hunter, although no one cared about that when it was discovered that Rosa had stolen her alliance's personal belongings. After being voted out, Rhea confessed to Rosa that she framed her as part of a sinister plan. Only four campers left. What will happen now that we're closer to the final? Find out in a new episode of... This Venture Cam! Whoa, Aiden! I just hit 2 million followers! Congratulations, James. I knew you would make it. You've been doing well on social media lately, huh? I think so. I'm not really paying attention to that. Hey guys, good morning. How are you? Well, a little tired from running so much yesterday. I'm still processing what happened with Rosa. Well, at least she got what she deserved. But hey, there is only one obstacle in our way to reach the final. Hunter. We definitely can't let him win immunity again today. I know. I'm sick of him winning over and over again. It seems that Crystal is sick and the challenge has been postponed until the afternoon. Aiden and I are going to the lake, if you want to join. Sounds good. Hey, Rhea. Sorry to bother you. Can we talk? Hunter, what a surprise. Tell me, how can I help you? I'll cut to the chase. I want to propose an alliance. Wow, that's... unexpected. You haven't been interested in talking to me until now. I know. Sorry, I was a little distracted. Why would I want to be in alliance with you? I know you have an alliance with James and Aiden, but think for a moment, Rhea. What will happen when I'm not there? Who do you think is next? Hmm. If we come together, we guarantee a final between the two of us. That's better than third place. Okay. You won't regret it. Now go, so they don't get suspicious. I have James and Aiden on one side, and now I have this bright hunter on the other. It feels good to be in control of the game. Are you going in? Why don't you take off your shirt and come swim with me? I... I don't feel very comfortable doing it. No problem. Then get in like that. Can you believe how close we are to reaching the final? It's been crazy, hasn't it? Soon one of us two will be a millionaire. I know! It's incredible! But what will happen after this? After what? I mean, when the game is over and we don't have to be in this camp anymore? What will happen is that we'll be more famous, which will give us money to do whatever we want. We can go on a trip together. If, if you're interested, of course. I'd love to. Great! James, I want to tell you something. I don't feel very comfortable with the subject, but I feel like I have to tell you. What's going on, dude? Remember that truth challenge when Crystal... Crystal asked a question that no one on our team answered? Aiden, it's okay. Don't worry. You don't have to feel forced into talking about it with me until you feel comfortable doing it. Nothing is going to change what I think of you. I feel very relaxed when I'm with Aiden. No matter who wins, I look forward to continue being friends with him after this. Attention campers! The challenge is about to begin. See you at the beach in 15 minutes. Welcome, campers! This challenge is very important, because whoever wins it will have a place guaranteed in the finals! In the finals? Wait, a final three? Looks like someone needs to speed up her vacation. 
quiet. You should compete and not comment. For the first part of the challenge, you will go up that rocky hill that has four levels. You must choose a level and jump into the water, but you want to be able to do it from the same level that someone has already jumped from. Depending on the level you jump at will be the advantage you will have in the next stage of the challenge. Ugh, a final tree changed my plans. I guess I'll have to move things forward. I don't know if I can do this. I don't like heights. Come on, you can do it. Here we go. Hmm. On your marks, get set, go! Uh. Ouch! Hey, what happened? Sorry, Hunter, change of plans. That advantage will be mine. Since when did Rhea get so competitive? Seriously, James, I don't know if I can do this. Heights terrify me. This is just like the spider you held up, like it was nothing. You can do anything, Aiden. You just need a push. You're right. Come on. <laughs> Rhea jumps out of level 4. Without hesitating, Hunter jumps out of level 3. Okay, Aiden. This is the lowest level. Just breathe. Count to three and jump. Okay. Here I go. One. Two! You'll thank me later! And finally, in a rare and brave display, Aiden and James jumped off the lowest levels. That completes the first phase of the challenge. Go dry off and change clothes. I'll see you back in the woods in a minute. When James said he'd give me a push, I thought he meant it metaphorically. It's very dangerous to have an alliance with a couple so close to the final. But I know exactly how to deal with them. When I stole James' phone, I found out some compromising things. <sighs> Thanks for giving me that push, James. I needed it. It's nothing. You guys look good together. I'm sure your fans love that kind of content. Right, James? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. What's going on? Fine, if you don't want to say it, I will. In the morning, James left his phone at the dock when you were swimming. I found it and I was going to return to him. But some very suspicious messages arrived that I couldn't ignore. What? And with whose permission did you take and search my phone? Just to shut up. I'm not going to shut up. You can do this and get away with it. Do what? Nothing. Don't listen to her, Aiden. She's just saying nonsense things. James has been using you to increase his influence on social media. He receives many messages offering him money to take photos and videos with you. This relationship has been nothing more than business for him. That isn't true. I can explain it. He told one of his friends that he was happy that he found someone naive enough to believe everything. You're lying! Am I lying, James? No, but I can explain everything. You serious, James? Why don't you show him your phone? Oh, I know why. You don't want your followers to find out everything you've said about him. I should have known. All you care about is your followers! Fuck my followers. Those losers don't interest me. What did you say? Did you just call your followers losers? I... I... Aiden... Don't talk to me! Guys, calm down. You shut up, Hunter! But the second part of the challenge is about to start. I don't care about the challenge. 
I need to talk to you. Leave me alone, James. I don't want to talk to you. He... didn't have to do that. Don't blame me. I didn't tell any lies. I just exposed what I read. Like James hating his followers. Okay, let's start the next part of the challenge. It's very simple. You will have to use a slingshot with your ammunition to hit a moving target. In this case, having won the previous stage, Rhea will have a large slingshot and will shoot watermelons. Hunter will have a medium one and shoot pineapples. Aiden will have a small one and will shoot lemons. James opted out of this part of the challenge, so he has no chance to win immunity. Oh, excuse me, what's the moving target? <laughs> Good luck trying to knock me down. There you have your answer. Your target will be Nina. The first one to knock her down will win the challenge and immunity. If no one else has anything to say, get started! Is that the best you can do? <laughs> I know very well what you're trying to do, Rhea. I just wanted you to open your eyes. Since when do you care about me? You just want to distract me from the game. I didn't tell any lies. I know, but you kept the information to yourself till just now. Well, what does it matter? You are an opportunist. Well, I may be an opportunist, but at least I wasn't used to gain followers. Can you argue less and shoot more? Let the real challenge begin. Shut up, Nina! Don't tell me you've had enough. What weaklings. <laughs> hey, Rhea. Oh, what do you want, Hunter? This is not the best time to talk. I guess our alliance is officially over. Well, it's not like I needed you. You ignored me when we were in the green team, and now you came to me just because you're the spirit. You are out of control. You should not interfere in the personal lives of others. Hunter, why do you care? There are more important things you should worry about. Shut up! Do you really think that with a few lemons you're going to knock me down? You need a lot more to... Damn, I have to fix her before Marcus gets back. Anyway, Aiden wins the challenge and immunity. I'll see you tonight at the last elimination ceremony. It's the first time since the merge that I haven't gained immunity. I'm a little nervous. I have to do something or they could vote me out. I'm sorry about everything that happened today. It's okay. I just... I'm an idiot. I feel bad about that whole situation. I know that this is just a game, but it's inevitable to form bonds with other people. I really care about Aiden. I said horrible things at the beginning to my friends, but that's not how I feel right now. Rhea was wrong to do that. It's not her fault. It's mine. And that's what makes me feel worse. You know, you may be right, but you shouldn't get caught up in it. You should take time to think and figure things out. It was the advice that Rosa gave me before leaving, and it helped me to clear my mind. I'm losing everything. Half of my followers have already left. They are canceling me on social media. My friends don't want anything to do with me, and neither does Satan. Welcome, campers, to the last elimination ceremony of this season. A dramatic day for the final four standing. Everyone has voted and made their decision. But first, if someone has an immunity totem and wants to use it, this is the last time to do so. Hmm. 
If you think you can get rid of me that easily, you're suddenly mistaken. I have the totem, and I want to use it tonight. What? Oh, crap. Wait, isn't that the totem Rosa lost? You were the one who stole it. Too late, Sherlock. I can confirm that this is an immunity totem. Any vote against Rhea will not count. I'll read the votes. First vote? Rhea? It doesn't count. Rhea? It doesn't count. Rhea? It doesn't count. There is only one vote left. The camper leaving this venture camp is... Hunter! This time, a single vote was enough. You're out of the game. No! So close to the end, I could have won that final challenge. I know, that's why you're out. Marcus hasn't arrived yet to take you on the bus. You can stay in the production tent tonight. Hunter is finally out. James and Aiden are a heartbroken ball of an unstable emotions. The perfect choice to take to the end. At this point, I don't care about anyone. I hope I win that million dollars and never see these people's faces ever again. I'm happy to stay in the game. This will give me at least one more day to... Try and fix things up with Aiden. What are you doing here? I thought you hadn't arrived yet. I brought your meds. Thank you. We wanted to talk to you. What's going on? We heard the producers want to renew your contract for another season. Yeah, that's right. And will you accept? I don't know. Honestly, I don't even know why I took the job in the first place. But you seem to enjoy it at first. Before the show started, my father told me this job could change me, without me realizing it until it's too late. And he was right. I overdid the challenges, I was cruel, and I hurt people. No, it's not like that! You're not like your father! You hired me when I was desperate! You defended Lake from her parents! You shared your things with the campers! And you went looking for me to ask for forgiveness! What are you trying to say? What we're trying to say is, you may be self-centered, narcissistic, and sadistic at times, but there's always been goodness in you. Do you... really believe that? Absolutely! Go rest. We have a lot of work to do tomorrow. Finally! I couldn't sleep with all that racket. Ugh, me neither. Hey, open the door! Oh, sorry! I already went to bed! And you can't get up? I don't think so. Find another cabin. That's gonna take like 40 minutes! Not my problem! Ugh. Hey, Aiden. I don't have time to talk. Where are you going to sleep? I'll sleep in the dining room, and no, you can't join me. Tomorrow is the final challenge, so having Aiden and James tired is crucial. I know what I'm doing is brutal, but... If I have to choose between other people's futures or my own, the decision is clear. I understand. Thanks. 
I guess. Don't you want to catch up with your followers? Nah, I'll do it later. You're finally thinking about the future of the game. I'm proud of you. It's okay. Don't worry. Nothing is going to change what I think of you. How did you deal with it? Just trying to be myself. Because pretending to be someone else will only make people never know the real you. Ever since Connell left, I felt a little lonely in this camp. Well, whatever happens, I will be on your side. What you are doing for me, I really appreciate it. Sure, it's a pleasure. I found it! Rosa, thank you, thank you, thank you! No problem, that is what friends are for. Good morning, campers! I hope you slept well, because today will be a long day. For having come this far, a special breakfast will be served in the dining room. Hurry up before it gets cold! Who invited you to sit here? I'm not even sitting near you, relax! Don't you feel bad? Why should I feel bad about? Stealing my phone, blaming Rosa and ruining my relationship with Aiden. What about you, James? Do you feel bad for getting rid of Carol twice? Poisoning Jewel? Manipulating Aiden? Yeah, I thought so. I hope you enjoy your breakfast. Wow, Crystal! You look better! Thanks. I feel better. I can tell, little one. I was thinking a bit last night before I fell asleep. I've been so focused on negative things about my father that I hadn't realized that my real family is you guys. You've always been there for me. Are you crying? No. Okay, that's enough. Thanks for worrying about me, guys. So does that mean you're going to keep hosting the show? I haven't decided that yet. I'm going to try my best today and we'll see how it turns out. Welcome to the grand finale of this venture camp. After four long weeks of intense challenges, one of the three finalists will leave the summer camp with one million dollars. But first, let's welcome the campers who left the game. They will take their seats supporting their favorite finalist. Are you kidding? Nobody. And what did you expect, idiot? Everyone hates you! Actually, because you're cancelled online, my reputation has started to improve. I'd support you if you didn't poison me. F*** you for that loser. Blake! Glad to see you again. You too, Aiden. I'm proud that you come this far. Thanks for the support, guys. Well, I've never talked to the others, so you're the only one I know. Come on, Rhea! Give those cheaters what they deserve! Excuse me? It is not like she didn't cheat either. Cheat? What are you talking about? Didn't you watch the last few episodes? I couldn't. I was busy opening a new warehouse. Okay, enough! You can chat all you want later. Now, let's welcome our special guests who have supported the show all this time. They will also be rooting for one of the finalists. Before we start, you can choose one of the voted out campers to help you during this challenge. So choose well. I choose Lay. I... I choose Connor. Hmm... Who am I supposed to pick? 
There's no one supporting me. That doesn't matter. Choose whoever you want. Well, I... Any volunteers? Okay, I will do it. Really? No one else is going to volunteer, and it wouldn't be fair for you to do the challenge alone. Thanks, Rosa. All right, then I'll explain today's challenge. You will start north of the camp where we have a snowy area. There, you must ski your way up the hill, grab a gas container, a map, and a key, while your helper drives a motor sledge. Once you get to the top, you will use those items to drive a buggy and use a map to follow the route until you reach the Rocky Mountain. When you arrive, the three of you must climb to the top while your helpers support you with a climbing rope from below. At the top, you will find a wingsuit, which you must wear in order to jump off the cliff and reach the dock. The helpers will be there waiting for you. There are only two boats for the next stage. That means the last one to arrive will be out of the game. For the last part, the final two must ride the boats to the marked area in the lake, where then you will put on diving suit, then dive into the depths of the lake to look for a key. Your helper will guide you from the surface. Once you find the key, you must get on the boat, return to the shore, ride a motorcycle, and drive to the finish line. Avoiding some obstacles, of course. The first to arrive at the finish line will win this Venture Cam! You took extreme sports very seriously. It's the final challenge, what do you expect? All the finalists and their helpers get on the bus that will take them to the snowy area. I'll keep in touch with you for the megaphones. Aiden, how are you feeling, you know, with everything that happened? Honestly, it hasn't been easy. I feel like an idiot. You're not. Perhaps all this is just a misunderstanding. If you talk to James, maybe you can make things up. To be honest, I don't know if I want to. Rosa, why did you volunteer to help me? It was an impulse. I don't like to see people having a bad time, even if they deserve it. I'm really sorry. I... I shouldn't have treated you so badly. It doesn't matter anymore, James. Rhea fooled us all. So... have you been busy lately? A little, yes. How's everything around here? Well, the competition got taller and I... I have to adapt to the game. Wow, that sounds harsh. But hey, you made it to the finale, right? That's true. My efforts paid off. And now with your help, victory will be mine. <laughs> That's the spirit? <laughs> hey, I know that scent. I bought the perfume that you gave me. I feel it gives me good luck. Tess, Ellie, I'm glad to see you again. I miss you a lot. Oh, yeah. I... Do you think we can talk? Whatever. We commissioned her to illustrate a book she's writing. Great. Can I see? I think it's a private thing. I understand. How about we get something out of the machines? Maybe later. The challenge is about to start. Hold on tight, Aiden. I'll go as fast as I can. Alright, campers. It's time to begin. On your marks. Get set. Go! Sorry, James. I don't know how to drive this thing. It's okay. Just keep going. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Can't you stop cheating for once? I'm not cheating! Let me go! <laughs> Goodbye, loser! 
Wow, we're just getting started and the camera is already playing dirty. It's amazing what money can do. Playing dirty? Blake, faster! Hang on. And what are you freaks supposed to be doing? An astral coronation ritual. We're sending positive vibes to Aiden to help him out. <laughs> How ridiculous! Do you seriously think Aiden will win because of that? Winning is a concept beyond our understanding. And it's not always getting what we want, but what we need. Why do you guys look homeless? I mean, more than usual. You'd better shut up if you don't want another black eye. I have to get there before Aiden and James at all costs. Okay, just be careful. Looks like we just have to stay in line with the trees until we get there. Perfect. I'll go as fast as possible. Thanks. What's wrong with you? Rhea, what are you doing? Whatever it takes to win. Well, you'll need more than that. I'm putting on the climbing gear. Let's go. Hurry. We are almost there. Great. Be careful. I want you to pull that rope as fast as you can. Okay. Hey, Eden. About what you said earlier. And maybe it was all fake for James at first. But now he feels differently. Even so, a guy who's willing to use people like that isn't worth it! I'm just saying that the James we met on the first day is not the same as he is now. Do you really believe that people can change? Of course. Just look at me. So what should I do? Just talk to him. I'm sure he has many things to say. I'll think about it. Faster! I can lose it right now! I'm going as fast as I can! <clears throat> I think I can see them! That's enough, Rhea! What are you doing? Trying to win a million dollars, and you won't stop me! You can't throw that at Aiden! Of course I can! <laughs> My perfume! What are you doing? What happened to you? Connor, I'm so close to winning, and I'm not stopping now. Do you really want to win like that? It's easy for you to say. You have money. You've never had to feel lost without a future. You don't know what I've been through. Sorry, James. I'm slowing you down. I swear it's not intentional. It's okay. We'll catch up. You can still win this. This is higher than I thought! Come on, Aiden! You're almost there! I don't know if I can jump from here! Of course you can! This is very high! A fall from here could be deadly! Don't you think, Aiden? Shut up, Rhea! What's wrong? I'm just telling the truth! Well, Rhea, if that's the way things are, I'm done helping you! Ah, uh, whatever! Go away! Do you think I need you? I got here by myself! I don't need anyone! We are almost there! Yes, just be careful! I can leave my daughter an orphan! <laughs> I'll be careful! Your daughter's name is Sophia, right? Yep, she is three years old! Who did you leave her with? 
Oh, my sister is taking care of her. And what about your parents? Um, I don't feel comfortable leaving her with them. When I got pregnant, they didn't take it the best way. They just made me feel lonely and sad. I'm sorry. It must have been difficult. It really was. I guess that is why I don't like to see people having a hard time. You are a good person. I really didn't deserve your help in this challenge after how I treated you. It is okay, James. No offense, but I didn't expect anything from you. So it, it doesn't matter. Come on, Aiden! Jump! You're already there! <laughs> Lake, it's too high! I can't do it! I'm sorry you're about to lose because of a 300 meter jump. It's not your problem! It's a shame Lake isn't here to help you. Just like she dragged you through today's challenge. Leave me alone! We both know that you don't deserve your place in the final. Everyone made you look like a fool over and over again. Aiden! Help! Sorry, I already wasted too much time with you. This got out of hand. Crystal, do something. Don't worry. Oliver must have put a security mesh or something. Right, Oliver? Uh, um... Like, I can't hold on anymore! You have to hold on. Help is on the way. I hope. No! I can't! Ah! Aiden? Maria makes it to the dock and secures her place in the final phase of the challenge. Who will join her? <laughs> uh, I got you, Aiden. James, thank you. Are you okay? You hurt. I'm, I'm fine. Hayden, listen. What I did was horrible and I'll understand if you don't want to forgive me. But I want you to know that there was a moment when everything became real. Regardless of whether you want to keep talking to me or not, I want you to know that I'm sorry. I don't want to see you hurt. How do I know you're not just saying that to win back your followers? Because when I lost everything, I understood something very important. What's that? You are everything I ever wanted. Oh, they are so cute. I'm glad he didn't fall. I'm sorry, James. Why? When I feel like a fool, I get kind of irritating. And I felt that way with what happened yesterday. It's alright, Aiden. Are we okay? Yeah, we are. Then take my hand. Let's jump together. No, James. Only one of us can stay in the game. And there's no way I can beat Rhea. But you can! What? Don't be stupid. You've worked really hard today. I got here because of Lake. I don't think I'll do well in the next stage. You can't give up now, Aiden. Remember when you told me I just needed a push? Now's your turn. Whoa! You can do it, James! I believe in you! Rosa, James already jumped. Meet him at the dock. On my way! Just like that, Aiden is out of the competition. It all comes down to Rhea versus James. Who will take the victory? We'll find out after the commercial break.
girls, can we talk? The challenge will start soon, so... I'm sorry. You wanted to be clear and talk about our situation, but I always evaded the subject. When I finally agreed, it was only to tell you to ignore it. And yet, I was the first to break that agreement. I'm sorry. I really am. Hunter, what we always wanted is for you to be clear. Maybe it's time to do so. Before I came to this camp, I spent my days all alone at home, and I never cared for having friends. Until I met you. I first reached out to you because I thought it would be nice to have allies in the game. But I ended up developing feelings for both of you. And when you left, I felt very alone. What are you trying to say, Hunter? I want us to be together. It doesn't matter where or what we're doing. I just want everything to go back the way it was before. You idiot. What took you so long? Well, better late than never. <laughs> I'm glad you managed to make things up with Aiden. Thanks, Rosa. I'm happy too. I am surprised how much you have changed. Don't get me wrong, but I feel that losing your followers was the best thing that you could have happened to you. Don't worry, Rosa. I feel the same. I spent a lot of time being a jerk just to increase my followers. And why did you need so many followers? I've never told anyone, but I used to be invisible. People just didn't notice me before. It was like I didn't exist. But when I started posting content, I finally felt seen and accepted. I would do anything to get more and more of that attention and I couldn't stop myself. I am so sorry, James. Thanks for sharing that with me. It feels good to finally talk about it with someone. I'm going to dive now and I'll be communicating with you so that you can give me directions. Understood. Go! Hey Lake, by the way, are you going back to Germany? I don't think so. At least not for now. So what'll you do? I'll take a little vacation. I'm going with Rosa to Mexico. That sounds great, Lake. I can't believe your parents let you do that! Actually... They didn't. What? What are you talking about? Let's just say, after exposing their horrible parenting methods on international television, the family's reputation has waned a bit, so they don't want me around for now. Wow. I know, but I'm fine with that. It's quite liberating. James, go deeper! Understood. This place... It's very dark in here. I can't find the exit. <laughs> Just to your right. I have the key! Excellent! Now go up! On my way. I can't believe I am going to do this. Are you acting again or are you really in trouble? Rosa? Answer me. I found my key, but I can find the exit and I'm running out of air. I did it, Rosa. Hmm, what are you doing? James, get back in the boat and continue the challenge. I am going to help Rhea out. Are you sure? Yes, get going. Rosa, I'm so sorry. 
I... Rhea, I don't want to hear your excuses. I am just going to help you out, and that's it. I'm sorry. You were right. Swim to your left until you see a big rock. You offer me your friendship. Now, take the path to the right and exit. And I betrayed you. Let's go. Are you okay? Yes, I am. Rosa, why did you save me? I lied, and I hurt you. What you did to me was horrible. But one day, my daughter will see this, and I want to teach her that no matter how much damage has been done to you, helping someone in need is the right thing to do. Now go. Thank you, Rosa. We have one less twist for this final stretch. As you can see, here are two platforms with a gold ball cannon. One person from Team James and one person from Team Bria can go up and shoot the opposing finisher to prevent them from reaching the goal. Any volunteer? I'll do it gladly. I will. Okay, get on the platforms and as soon as you see them, you can start shooting. You're not going to beat me. We'll see. Aiden and I made up. Your plan didn't work. I wanted to keep you distracted to get the upper hand. You already lost. Ouch! I won't let you cross that finish line, you moron! Ouch! Oh, enough! Oh, uh, come on! Good job, girl! Having overcome all the challenges, James crosses the finish line, becoming the winner of this Venture Camp! We did it! Yes, James! Why do those always get away with it? You did it! No, Aiden. We did it. It's over. I lost everything. I fail again. I'm sorry for talking to you like that. I was under a lot of pressure. And you didn't deserve that. I saw what Rosa did for you. If she could give a hand to someone who hurt her, I can do the same. Why would you? Do you know the things I've done? How I have hurt others? I know, but I also understand how you feel. The frustration, the despair, the feeling of being stuck in a hole that only gets deeper. I felt that way a while ago. And how did you get out of that? I didn't do it alone. 
Someone helped me out. Attention campers, I have the grand prize in my hands. James, you are the winner of this venture camp. The million dollars is all yours. Congratulations. Congratulations, James. I didn't get to know you that well, but I can tell that deep down you were always a nice person. Rosa, thank you. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have managed to win. Oh, it's nothing. Have you already decided what you're going to do with the prize? I'm going to use some of it to go on a trip with Aiden. <laughs> How exciting! I love traveling! Good luck, guys. And I would like to give a part of the money to Rosa as well, so that she invests in Sophia's future. It is the least I can do. What? You don't have to do that. You've been helping us all since you got here. Let me help you this time. Oh my god! Oh my god! Thank you, thank you, thank you! You deserve it, Rosa. Now let's have a party! So this is where you were. We were looking for you. Aren't you going to join? I know you love parties. I went out to get some air. I can't believe it's over. Did you make a decision about what we discussed yesterday? Yes, I did. This season comes to an end with an emotional and exciting resolution. But a new one is on the way, where we will have Oliver in charge of the production and supervision of the challenges. Wait, what? For real? Will we stay in this camp? Will we have a new cast or will we see familiar faces again? Who will be the new enter now that Oliver has been promoted? Find out on the next season! I am Crystal, and this was... This Venture Camp! <laughs> <laughs>